Hello everyone, or future everyone's in this case. some up little additions added as a trend for all my intros I always mention that I'm like <laughs> I'm trying to make some adjustments right before stream starts it's just like the nature of everything I do is has to be done in a mad scramble otherwise it'll never get done Something up here. How's everybody? What about that? What what about that? seems fun. <clears throat> oh my god, sorry. I, so I, so far, I, I don't have a coffee a ton. And uh, it tends to be reserved for these streams. Man, coffee in combination with my uh, medication I take dries, dries up my throat. Probably a terrible, terrible uh, mix here. Yeah, just the... volume here. And then I'll get uh, some, some intro stuff rolling. We'll do, we'll pull up Mapster uh, to do my little intro and just to give some time to people kind of funnel in before we start the actual game game. Um, in the meantime too, I've been trying to got terribly distracted. I was trying to do some additions to OBS to do some like transitions and things. N nothing fancy, just to add a little little pizzazz, if you will, uh, to certain things. And I got distracted posting in a like in a link for the stream to something, and I'm like, oh, I don't have like profile stuff set up for this account. Okay, might as well set set up that. And that that's that's how I go on a, a weird little tangent into a completely different direction than what I'm working on. <laughs> 
which is the dangerous side of ADD. Um, but while I'm, I guess I'm setting this up, I'll just, just so I can talk randomly. I, I don't know, uh, if we've actually played any maps by Martin Van Ostrom. I'm going to mispronounce and butcher the name, so I apologize if that's the case. I know, I definitely know I've played his brother's maps. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm terrible with, like, those connections, unless I played 20 of them in a row. Um, but looking at the names on, on a little list here, I'm looking at, I don't, I don't know if I've played any of them, but we've talked about a bunch of them. Default location that OBS sets. Huh. Not where it's going. Okay. Nope, that's not where it's going. It's lying to me. Oops. How's everybody doing this fine Saturday? Uh, it's, it's finally getting into winter season here in Canada. Uh, at least where I am. It's probably been winter everywhere else in Canada. Um, we had a, like, a really wet winter so far where I live. And uh, like Christmas, no, no snow for, for us. Uh, which normally we have snow. Um, and, I, and as a Canadian or somebody who lives in a, a very snowy environment for most of the like winter season I, I don't think I can stress how um, how much how important snow is Um, because so like, especially for me, it, it gets so dark in the, the, because of daylight savings time and all that. So like I, I work from home. So when I start my work, especially if I'm like trying to save money and, and cooking inside, so I'll cook my own breakfast or, or whatever, I'll wake up. Uh, I live in a, uh, an apartment that's, it, it, it's in a basement. So it's pretty big though for an apartment. Uh, so that's kind of why I, I stay here and, a reasonable price but downside no real windows i do have a window in my living room and an a window in one other room in my other rooms which i'm primarily in no windows so i'll wake up make breakfast get ready for work go into my room which is my office no windows uh and the sun's not out or it's barely starting to come out then i get off at like 5 30 or so and when i get off at 5 30 because it's winter pitch black out it's pitch black by like four where I am and uh man that's when you start to not, not I don't have like seasonal depression or anything but your energy level super super low when you realize you don't see the sun ever and uh so one of the things that I I kind of remember and this is well I should say this reminded me of because this is the first time we've really had snow this year so far other than just wetness is man how much i miss the snow in winter like look if it's going to be cold i rather have snow on the ground why it's reflective everything is so much brighter when there's snow on the ground so at least it makes uh manageable because uh i go on a, like a hike after my work shift as well like every day uh, for like an hour or two uh just to kind of like reset get some fresh air you know otherwise i'm just stuck inside and uh, stretch those legs 
But man, without that snow, winter sucks. Just pure pure darkness and cold. Uh, so I, I kind of need that snow to qualify for that cold weather. Otherwise, it's worthless to me. It's worthless. I really should learn to stop doing stuff so last minute for OBS changes uh, when I know they're probably going to be very minimal, very minimal changes. Uh, I do. I do take vitamin D as well. Uh, so I do take that. I don't know whether or not it helps as much. There's so much stuff like I, 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 I try or I take to be like, OK, yeah, like, you know, let's try to be healthy because I'm, I'm never always going to be 100 percent healthy. It's just inevitable. It's just just too much too much good food in the world to eat healthy all the time as well so but I take like supplementations like I take vitamins I, I drink this thing called subi greens which is uh I don't I don't know if like what's that there's like an advertisement thing that I see on YouTube all the time is it alpha greens or something like uh, there's something that every once in a while will pop up but anyways it's just like all your vegetables in a in a a powder form and you take it in the morning I haven't taken it today because I don't I, I felt maybe I'll try not mixing it with my coffee uh, and uh, so I'm gonna have it later for my like little lunch break or whatever uh, when we do finish the first map and um, that's another one where it's like hopefully it's helping it, it, it's the same concept as water for me I, I'm a terrible person at drinking water and uh, I've been trying to get better at it as a New Year's resolution, but mainly because it's just like, I have to pee like a thousand times the moment I drink water. And I never feel the difference that water takes other than, man, I sure have to pee a lot. So, but it's, it's something you're told you have to do. So um, all those things, I'm starting to stack them one after another oh, to adult properly. Um, where is, are you storing stuff? And also my ADD makes me like the worst, the world's worst, uh, whatchamacallit, multitasker. I take multi, I want to try some psychotropics. Are you just like referring to like powdered shrooms? Is that what you're talking about? That's what I think of. Uh, age drug that affects behavior, mood, thoughts, or perception. I close notification for anxiety, depression, as well as antipsychotics. What would a psychotropic drug be? I wonder if that's what I'm on. <laughs> Uh, but, but I'm also operating on like very little sleep today. I, I went to bed at like three o'clock in the morning, woke up at like eight. Again, no matter how late I go to bed, I will always wake up at the same time uh, preparing for my for my work shift. Um, you know what? Let's like I, I'm making all these changes that are, are going to really mean anything. So we're going to go back to our, our classic thing. I want to whip up uh, open uh, Mapster 32. I'll do my little intro uh, and at least that way you'll have some visual instead of just staring at my lovely uh, thumbnail that I made. Um, and let's, let's at least do that. And then maybe I'll be able to wing the changes I was trying to make or I'll, I'll do them afterwards and get them ready for next stream. You know, just little, little, little design flourishes to make things uh, a little nicer here for certain things and make transitions a little smoother in the future. But, uh, maybe, maybe I need one of those things that you click and press something for a hotkey and it switches OPS to different scenes. It's like on my wish list. Uh, what do we want to open up? Actually, you know what? Let's do... Uh, I'm going to open something up here just for, for fun.
just for fun. Uh, let me switch over here. Actually, you know what? Let's let's do new board. We'll we'll do the new board. Uh, that's not the one I want. I'm in the wrong mapster. And then I'll switch over screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, kids. So, uh, I take multi launch. Um, by the way, this is the Duke Nukem Time to Kill soundtrack. I played this last time, too. Uh, only because I keep getting copyrighted when I do the roll and stuff. Which, I'm not a... I don't really care for the copyright stuff. But at the same time, if I can avoid it for just my little, uh, side music, that would be great. Uh, some of the maps that we play do have custom music, and that's going to always be inevitable for, for getting stuff uh, copyrighted. Uh, but I don't really care for that stuff. That's okay. So for for a lot of people, this is going to be obviously something you're already familiar with, especially if you've been uh, around for the channel for, for a long, long time. Uh, to get into but I, I meant uh, new tropics, new neurotropics. Well, psychotropics, at least from what I was reading, unless maybe that's very similar to nootropics, is uh, also used for uh, anxiety, depression, uh, or whatever. It's kind of like uh, me, and that might, that we're gonna make this into like some weird medical stream either, and uh, uh, it's not meant to be a downer at all because I, I never feel like down at all. But um, like one of the things for my not in the same way we're probably talking about is uh, so i i have like hyper impulsive adhd which is uh like i'll have what, what they call like spirals so i like i don't feel what you call traditionally depressed where i feel sad for example uh, i always feel happy i'm like one of those people that's like i want to live forever kind of thing but i do have like spiral effects where i start to like think of every single possible outcome of a scenario before i make a decision into something which is partially why like some stuff like this when i'm making changes last minute can can be terrible because my concept of time can get messed up i'll be like oh yeah this is going to take me two minutes but then while i'm working on that i'm thinking about like 40 other things while that i that come across like uh when i was uh trying to set up something for our read me's here which for people new to the channel i, I, I cover the little read me's that come included with maps now it's one of the things I wanted to add because it's just nice. But anyways, I'm trying to add a nice, nice little design flourish to it. But doing that, I, I kind of went on and got lost in a tangent. And pulled up uh, my Reddit stuff and started making profile pictures for that. I pulled up this and start making, like it, it just kind of goes in a weird little loop where I get kind of hyper focused on whatever gets laid out in front of me. And if you lay up a, a different set of tracks, I'll go down in that direction as well. Um, but I guess that's also a form of depression where it was wild uh yeah anti-anxiety depression adhd neurotropics are natural improved cognitive function maybe maybe that's you know what i have looked at neurotropics i, I think that's what it is i think the cliche is probably i heard it on joe rogan one day um not that you know like that's sound medical advice by any means but uh, i'm always fascinated when i hear stuff like that or I've heard more plates, more dates talk about, which is a weird channel as well. I don't, I don't mean weird. I just use that as like a, uh, like how people say a, at least if you're Canadian, 
it's just a, a thing that I say, but I don't mean it in the descriptive sense. Because uh, it's super informative, uh, where he breaks down so many kind of things. And that's one of them, and I kind of go through phases where I pop in. They're just to have different uh, uh, mental scopes and depths and focus. Yeah, yeah. And, like, that's the thing about even, like, my ADHD is after the diagnosis, it was kind of mind-boggling, like, in terms of how it changes my view on things. And it, it made me less stressed about a lot of stuff because I, I think I then at that point I understood it. And uh, there were some minor issues that I actually just dealt with at my job too, where uh, because the like I'm very good at handling multiple things at once, ironically, even though I said I'm terrible at multitasking. Uh, but because I can do one thing and then finish it and it's perfect, which also sucks sometimes because I'm a perfectionist. So it, it, you can get burned out very easily. Um, and like I had to describe it to them that like you know like sometimes I get it maybe I'm not the right person for certain tasks if you 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 think I can do all of this plus this because like if it's not super engaging I can get bored and burn out I don't know where I'm going with that tangent anyways um, the concept of nootropics is is something I find fascinating whether or not it's like valid or works conceptually. I have trouble concentrating, but I'm not hyper. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not particular hyper. I can talk really fast if I really need to, but that's also part of my job. And uh, one, even my family uh, was like, "Oh, when I started my medication, they're like, oh, you talk really fast now, because uh, technically my medication can do that." Um, but it was really just because I was trying to be more open to people. So now I just limit how I talk, and I can talk slower. Back to how, how I, I used to talk, ironically. Um, but that's like the only hyper impulsive you can get really out of me I have trouble um but concentration for me is always just like focus like i'll get spurts of uh um like focus on something i'm interested in so that happens like for mapping sometimes i'll get like really into it and i'll be spending hours doing what i feel like is nothing gets done but I, i'm very focused on it um or work and it's a dangerous thing too is especially if i like i take my medication and my medication starts kicking in before I start my work because sometimes I'll start doing stuff for the channel or side stuff and then my mind's now focused on that instead of what I should probably be actually doing which is work anyways what are we talking about so I'm trying to try to get into my little intro here um and then we can branch off into a little side discussion so uh for anybody who is new to the channel or stumbled across it and was like wow I didn't know this was a medical channel talk about weird psychotropics and stuff uh it's not traditionally uh oh Feel free to talk about whatever you want, really. Is uh, we, we tend to play some Duke Nukem 3D maps. So if you're not familiar with Duke Nukem 3D, I do have a link in the description if you would like to buy Duke Nukem 3D. You can also buy it on Steam through the World Tour Edition for it. It's available on consoles as well. Uh, though granted, we're not playing those versions. Uh, we are playing uh, something else. Uh, but that was a game that came out in 1996. Pretty much everybody already in chat already is familiar with this. But for anybody comes across this in the future or you know right now um i do have a link in the description not affiliated at all just if you need it as well as a link to eduke uh which is the source port we're going to be using to play the user maps and stuff that we're playing with and including what you're looking at here which I'll, I'll go over in a minute um and as well as any map links for anything that we play so the two maps that we have today is another map uh, or sorry another map another attack one and two uh they're already linked in the description if we do play any more beyond that that'll get added as well uh over time so what started here was uh kind of like a little hobby a little side hobby ironically since we're still on the topic of weird you know medical advice uh this was actually partially done because uh of my diagnosis with adhd i was trying to get more done outside of work because so far in my life the way i was kind of focusing on things was i had all my energy would be spent on my job and then I'd have no energy left for anything else after that. So uh, in my quest to try to figure out how to find energy as an adult to do more things than just your job, um, I ended up getting diagnosed with my ADHD, which helped. And so one of the things I wanted to do was started to layer more things in my life to see, like to give myself a little goalposts to achieve, to see if I'm actually like, is this medication working? Am I making progress? Was there a point to all this? 
Am I succeeding in my main task, which is to be able to do more? So one of the things I started doing was uh, playing around with uh, Maps for 32, which is what I currently have open here. And uh, the idea here was when I was a kid, I, I always dabbled with map, map, map baking for Duke Nukem 3D, but I never, I never really got far. I never was good at it. I, I never really made it much progress. Like everything I did was pretty much just concrete slabs. Um, and so I started to track my progress using this channel really mainly privately and then over time it slowly became something to uh, start to explore user maps that other people have made in Mapster 32 and for Duke Nukem 3D to kind of get inspired and see what they were using or doing with the editor and pulling off as so I could kind of use it as inspiration or learn from them by example and uh, so that's kind of what we've been doing here on these streams is playing through mainly uh, Duke Nukem 3D maps that people have created with the emphasis of kind of looking at them from a uh, design point of view. So sometimes we'll stop and look at different things, discuss maybe how it was constructed, not necessarily opening up the editor in the moment. We usually are still focused on the let's play for it, but we are still going to point things out and discuss it. Um, and the hope and focus to one learn for myself how to maybe figure out some cool new tricks and tips. Uh, but also to hopefully inspire some other people to maybe start dabbling in uh, map editing alone uh, just by itself because it's a fun little hobby and I, I think it's relatively easy to pick up and that's kind of what uh, we have here so this is mapster 32 um, which is the level editor included for uh, Duke Nuke oh, sorry the source port eduke 32 which again the link is in the description which allows you to then make levels for, a, in this case, Duke Nukem 3D, but there's other build engine games you can make it for, which is like a Shadow Warrior, but though I think you need a different editor for that. Uh, Blood is technically build engine um, and all this stuff. But the idea is the same design philosophy is, is in there. So if you learn on this, you'll have the basic idea for a lot of stuff uh, for other types of games as well, including custom games like your own. So one of the most recent ones I, I would say using the build engine would be obviously like you have Ion Fury and that's like an official new product that came out within the past few years. The expansion came out last year for it and that was used using the build engine uh, by the team who made Eduke 32. So um, it's still a relevant engine in my opinion, especially for like a, a hobby. So uh, it's a, a grid based system 2.5d so people who don't know what 2.5d is it's not actual true 3d like you would traditionally think about it it's it's essentially something if you could draw it on paper flat then you could essentially make it into a map it does have that res some restrictions for that so for example like uh we I, I did this kind of last stream as well i'm gonna make a little box here now by default if you're seeing this white outline that means it's it's like a, you know, a wall if you want to think about it so in the editor here now I have a giant wall so we can make this into a column which actually let's kind of do something like that um, I'm not gonna make like a map map this is just gonna be like a little tiny mini section of something visually just so to get the point across of what you can do um, but I think we want some sky so we're going to change this go into the little textures uh we'll do blue just for this uh we could we could probably do something else actually. get a little fancy uh maybe some sky we need to do this Let's just parallax that uh, i don't know if i like we could change the color i don't know if i want red yeah, let's let's do red. You know, let's make this a little demonic. Uh, should make a house each stream. Should you know what? I was actually trying to build some houses too, so I could copy and paste them for things. Um, that would be kind of cool. But let's say we want to make this. Uh, but since we you mentioned that actually, let's make this into a little building actually. So if we want to make this into a little building, we're gonna stretch this out a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna use the bigger grid size here there's different grid sizes you can use um, the only thing is if you do download mapster 32 by default uh, you're gonna have the the default uh, the texture I don't have that so I, I have a um, I've edited 
not personally. I have some mod like mods or add-ons for Mapster 32 installed, so uh, I pretty sure we're all up. I wanna I should really double check and look this up and then maybe put the stuff in the description, but I keep saying I'm gonna make a video for this. Uh, so it one changes this default texture just to give me some better sizing or, or make things a little bit easier for me to to do. It does some other minor changes and then I also have some stuff for um, texture selection. But do I not have that on right now? Oh yes I do. So I can select uh, sectors easier. Um, but we're going to turn this into a little building. So we're going to make uh, there's some textures here. Now this would be a lot faster if I had all these textures memorized. So everything you're looking at here are the stock uh, textures or sprites for Duke Nukem 3D Atomic Edition. So uh, first three episodes plus the birth. And um, that's pretty much all I've been using. So we're going to use this. We're going to hopefully remember all the keys because to be honest, I, I really haven't mapped too, too much other than the brief little intros I do on these streams since maybe like November when I actually had time. Uh, the back half of my year is always so packed with uh, work stuff. So let's, let's do one, two, three, six. Let's do six by six. Let's do, yeah, just make a little bit. Oh, reset. I saw that. Uh, yep. And then we'll, what we're going to do is hit this little button here it's to save that. I'm going to probably do a little lip here. Now, we could do like, we could just put a, like a door if we want this to, do we want to go in this building? Is that what we're thinking? Because if we want to go in this building, we could do a little bit different too. So let's do this. Let's change this. We're going to turn this into a little grass texture. I don't know. There's two sizes for floor sprites that you can use. Otherwise, for stuff on the walls, you can actually resize them however you want, like this, which is always handy. So right now we're just going to use the default here. Um, technically, so this is a ceiling, right? So if I went up here, you you would hit that as a wall. But when I press P, that parallaxes it, so you have like a weird little freaky sky. Um, and then we're going to do... Uh, Let's do door. So let's actually make this a little bit bigger then. So let's go out. I want to do a door is going to be one. So I want to go out to. There's no real method to this madness. And then we're going to place a door here. So we're going to insert two points. I don't know if this is going to be the best way of doing this, but this is pretty much what we did before too, actually. So let's do this. Now I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not going to do door for this. So um, kind of how I mentioned this is like 2.5 D. Let's change this just to make things easier for simplicity's sake. Let's just change this to the, that's not what I wanted. Uh, change this just to the blue guy. Just to make it a little simpler. We'll unparallax that and that. Here what walls we want to do. Uh, we're going to make a little walkway here. I'm going to say this is a compart apartment complex, but we're going to attach that to this guy. So this is going to be a little, little, little pathway. So we're going to make a little... Kind of gross. One of the worst things for me too is I uh, I get lost in, in just clicking sprites a thousand times. So I'm trying not to do that just for this. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. It doesn't have to be perfect for this. Because I kind of want to show how how quickly you could really kind of make something. Now this is this is the '90s after all, so Duke tends to have some '90s looking textures there or carpet and let's, let's do that for now. 
rotate this, I'm gonna paste that there, rotate that, rotate. So this is where our, our door is going to be, which means we're going to lower this. Uh, now, this is the only thing that, uh, like, if anyone in chat happens to know this, it would be great, is, uh, like, right now, I, I've, if I click this to lock, right, I can, the problem is I don't have 100 hands. One, two, three, four. Right? But I would like to just click it and it hold into lock mode so I can move around uh, a lot of the most basic fun in the process. Yeah, like I, I, I agree. I, it's totally the most fun for me too, but it's also the easiest where you can just get, you can get lost doing that. Spam that boy. So I'd like to see that happens. And I would just like to lock that because the moment it goes past my key, Unless I'm holding it. I guess I could use my left hand. To now. This Duke is one, two, three, four. So that's Duke size, right? But we want it a little bit higher. Just so it feels a little, a little normal. We're going to just align those textures a little bit so they're nicer. Maybe, yeah, I want to make this a little bit bigger here, just so it's nicer. Yeah, locking should work, right? But I don't know how to lock lock, right? So I can click to lock, right? But I want to, I have to hold down my mouse button. And it's, it's maybe it's just because I think it's weird to flip keys. And I'm making a big deal out of nothing. Because if I'm trying to, like, for example, make this taller and I'm sitting here, the moment it goes out of view, I'm going to start raising something else up. Um, open door, I'm going to do that. Now, what we'll do to just for design purposes is that obviously you wouldn't have windows down here. So we could low. there's two options we could have. We could probably lower this here, but I wouldn't want a window on the first floor uh so maybe what we'll do instead is this we're gonna pick something just to use as kind of uh like a bezel is that what we want to call it what like uh to go around and what would i want to use as like a little bezel around the outside of the building we could use something like this, that's kind of ugly. We're gonna use something like this. Imagine people walking in not knowing that we do other things than just playing maps. You know, what do you do? What do you guys do? What do you do? Oh, we could make it an under construction level too. Actually, you know what? That's pretty good for a. Uh... Yeah, we'll use that because it truly matters. Uh, we could do this. Yeah, let's do this. It's it's kind of dirty, and I believe that you would have some dirtiness. There's a lot of keys, to be honest, that feel... Uh, awkward. At first. And then... Uh, for Mapster 32, especially like when you're using the numpad. I want to do 42, maybe? I don't know. I don't want to stretch this too much because I'm not a fan of st a stretched ones. We could do like we there's another way we could do this too, actually. So we could if we really wanted to, we could we could do a little bezel here if we wanted to. So we could put a sprites around the end. Also, don't sleep on the alt plus page up or down when dealing with red walls. Alt. Alt. Is that the is that the fixed size one? Is that what you're talking about?
What is what is the difference between all? What is all the difference? Uh, allows me to do this stat on the walls. Oh, cool, cool. Is that what it's doing again? It's the next sector instead of the current. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, I want to do. I was going to put a sprite one. Like we still could, I guess. Um. I don't want to use. I guess we could kind of use it. Maybe, you know what? Let's go uh, 128. Wait. Yeah, 128. I'm just, I'm just checking the this size here. See if that's what I want. No, it's not. Do this. Make this. I guess I could. I could have just done this. I think it's all. all, all, all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna. We're gonna whoa. Oh yeah, these are one-sided. One-sided bad boys. Does anyone have an opinion on whether I should? stick these guys in or out. I guess, like, I've been putting them in sometimes, like this. Just to hide them. But I don't know if that's the best choice. I don't know if that's the best choice of textures for this, for what I'm trying to do here. But it, since this is really not supposed to be super, super serious... We're gonna we're gonna leave it. Let's actually divide this by one, and then what we'll do is make this fit a little properly. So 64 is where it's at. Is that what it wants? Okay, 64. We'll do that. I'll put one here. Yeah, then we'll copy these guys. That's not what I wanted. Paste these guys here. Nice. Not what I wanted. I guess that could have worked, you know? I don't really view that as grass. This this is more so grass right here. Right, where'd it go? Where'd my grass texture go? There it is. Uh, so there's a little bezel. We'll shift this guy over a little bit here. We could actually just make it so, if we wanted to, we could do this. Make it so that there's no window here. I don't know if that would be more ideal. Do that. And then we'll kind of do this.
as always same ones that perfectly align with the different levels of grids yeah that's the one thing i'm trying to get way better at too is is for example building at a bigger grid size first and then over time if i need more detail then shrinking the grid instead of because like what like there's never going to be a right or wrong way to build maps everybody's going to find their own flow too especially with playing with the editor but like I'll, I'll tend to get stuck just at the the tiniest grid size doing some details where i, I kind of want to start fleshing things out on uh the big stuff first and then kind of making those little tiny details uh so we'll do this i still don't really like this as like a bezel to be honest i kind of like i kind of feel like we could use just this if we cut it off which we could do we're getting super serious about this build that's just to show off the editor so people understand it, what you can do uh, but we're going to do that we're going to cut this down we're going to cut this by two and then I'm going to bezel this a little bit just as a test And we can make it so Duke walks on this if we want. If I want that big of a bezel, shrink that down one more. Oops. One of the things I was going to do is do a more traditional mapping stream on Sundays, because that's usually when I was doing my. Uh, uh, one, wait. Did I do that right? Why do I want my bezel? So I want this, and then I want... Here? Maybe flip that? I guess the sun would be on there. Stretch that. I don't know if this is really necessary, actually. I just want to hide those windows. You know? Uh, so working with the grid, uh, grid and sprite size of uh, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128 saves you tons of time knowing the right fits in advance. You get used to the patterns with time. Yeah, that's true. One... Two, three. See, it doesn't work. Like one side, one sprite doesn't really work the way. Not sprite, sorry. Uh, one side of my keyboard doesn't work the same way. One, six, three, eight. As the other. Copy this, copy this. Could change the color of that, I guess. I don't, I don't really know if this bezel is necessary. Like it absolutely was was not. But if it was a different texture, like there's nothing wrong with it, but we could do better. It's more like a walkway. It's more like let's do this. Some it's a little too dirty for user and years. I adjusted every sprite size just visually. Yeah, I, I definitely still do that for a lot of stuff in my limited wisdom. Even when I know that there's a shortcut in place, I still get uh, kind of hyper focused on uh, making minute little changes myself. I don't know if there's anything in chapter. Like, this is kind of what I want. <laughs> kind of. I don't want to, I don't want to stretch it too much. Let's reset this. I guess for this example, it's fine. Yeah. 
do this and we'll flip it. Or maybe we'll flip it that way. Yeah, let's go with that. We're gonna just go with this. We're gonna we're gonna settle. We're gonna select this guy, we're gonna select this guy, and then we're gonna go control page up. Now at the same level, and do we want it the same level as the door? Probably. Now can we... See that now. I'm already changing my mind. Where it in my mind. There we go. Little bezel. Yep. We're going to do it that way. So we're going to do this. here select all these guys because we can do it all at once what is this one six three eight one six three no two zero four eight zero now there's obviously we could do the manual edits two zero four eight zero so there we go now we're going to leave these guys kind of just messy for now um Like we could do a sprite, a line, but I think we would need more manual adjustments for, for these to make these look right. But for now, we're just going to leave that as is. Uh, so we can go inside this bad boy. So now we're inside our, our little house here. And we'll change the wall textures to something more palatable for a wall texture inside. That's more of a stucco. That's more of a roof thing, I feel. So let's actually do that for the roof. Change that size. We'll change this wall to your basic woody bitch. Uh, yeah, like this classic one, right? Just to give it that classic feel. Uh, we'll figure out what we want to do here. I'm thinking that's pretty good. Actually, let's reset this. And then we'll figure out what we want to do size wise we could actually so we're going to shrink this down for now actually we're going to shrink this down to i think this height so we've got your insides oops i forgot i had these selected that's pretty terrible And then we'll do control one, two, three, four. Right there. Reset this. Reset these. Now we're going to raise this. Now I, I'm always conflicted because the cracks I always want to put on top. So we'll, we'll do that actually. Yeah, we'll do this. Put that at the bottom. Now, the only thing that like I still really haven't fully comprehended really is this repeat thing. Because sometimes I feel like it's all weird and out of whack to me. Uh, it says repeat 40 and 11, and I know that's the positioning. It's just something my I haven't really wrapped my, my head around yet. We'll go 
We'll go with that. And what we'll do is paste it this way. And then we'll use this to sprite a line. I kind of want that like this. There we go. The word sky didn't look too bad. Maybe you need to play with it. Yeah, maybe. But for the purposes of this, here we go. So we got this. We can build a door. We got a little bezel. Uh, we could put some enemies here. Is this stretching? Yeah, but it's just like sometimes it feels weird. Like it just feels off. Like a zero zero, not stretched. Um. Right, so. Now, we could make an actual door. For the purposes of this, though, I'm not. I'm going to just put a, a just a, a, a door. A big old, big old door. Right here. And I'm thinking, what was 32 is what I'm going here. 32. Let's raise this. 32. See what that looks like. Big old door. Now I'm going to turn blocking off so we can walk through it at least. But if I wanted to make this real, then I would. I could make this a real door. Um, but I might have to change the design here. So for now, we're just going to leave this as is. Uh, we're gonna move it maybe inwards. It's a very, it's a very thick wall actually. So the inside we could probably make a little thinner here, give us more room to work with inside, right? And there we go. And that looks a little bit more kind of normal, right? We could play around with this. Now, we want to go like if so so if we wanted to do a second floor, I know there's nothing really in this floor to begin with, but just so cuz I kind of want to show off certain things. There's there's a few different ways we could do that. So, option 1, like if we wanted this to be a ceiling, we could do um a sprite one so we could make origami and sprite this up and make them walkable so you could build up and then we would go up here so it's it's not we're, we're faking we're using the engine limitations to our advantage so we can't do true room or room we can, or without doing the technique i'm going to mention but uh or we could do um uh, w w like this where like if i raise this for example not like that. Not like that. Oops. So if I raise this guy, so now it's something we could technically jump on if we wanted to. And we could make a floor using that. But what ends up happening is we'll be kind of limited in how we would be able to detail the second floor unless everything is now sprite based. So it 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 has a limitation there that I'm not I'm not sure if we want to do so we could do like a we could make a, a stairway here uh so for sake of this we'll do we'll just say this is going to be the stairway to the second floor yeah select all of these guys and we're pretty sure that's where we want that floor to be so we're gonna do I'm gonna raise this to just where I think that would be one of the stairs actually you know let's do it this way Yeah. 
Those are those are some chunky stairs, so maybe maybe we'll do it a little small. What am I doing? Already, know, already have a method down here. Yeah, that's 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 more stair size. And we'll do control up, deselect, control up, wait, deselect, control up. Deselect. Control. Up. And there's like a little stair. Maybe not as high as we want. Probably would want some more stairs. And it would go up to the way to the second top. Maybe because I think you're confusing when I'm pasting a texture with certain values to a completely different wall. Like that's probably where I'm running into the issues. Is is when I'm doing stuff like that. Um. Right. So like that's definitely where I'm probably running into some problems. So we're gonna leave this like this for now. And we're gonna do uh, another one. What I want. And so then this would end up being the floor in my mind. So if we deselect, how do I deselect that? We're gonna do this, move that out, push this, attach that to there. Right? And then we're gonna do, now I don't think we really need to do anything here if this is going to be like the second floor if we did like a true room or room then i could just pop that open and uh do that but for this example you know what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna raise this one two three four wait one two three four two three four Wacky looking. Two, three, four, blah, 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 blah. Dip, boop. Okay, so why am I doing this, you might ask? Because I'm thinking what we're gonna do is this. Uh, control one. This is gonna be the second floor. So for this example, and then we're gonna end this little mapping journey here to get to the map. And then I, I can also we're going to expand this guy to 128 by 128. Just so I can see. That looks not bad, I guess. We're gonna line this to here. So this is where the ceiling would be. Normally, I, I don't think I'd want a, a thin floor. It doesn't do chore, by the way. That's okay. I don't, I still, I'm, I'm still, I'm just 
there's so many different techniques you can use. Like I still don't really comprehend. Sector over sector is still something I'm, I'm trying to understand myself. Uh, and so like comfort level I'm still pretty I'm pretty comfortable with uh, just using sprites so far now we could start this in the corner actually it'll be easier for us to figure out sizing this way because um, maybe I don't want so so big actually yeah we you know let's do that what would this be two if we doubled it, I don't want to necessarily double it. So if we just added 64 to that, it would be 780 and then 92, 192, 192 by 192, 192. Let's see what that looks like. want to see how big this looks like sometimes when you stretch a texture too much it just looks a little weird like i guess for this purpose it's fine so we're gonna we're gonna go with this and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually delete these guys we're gonna go instead i don't remember if this is the same size pick these we're gonna copy them and what I'm going to do, move them over here. So now we get this little cross section here. So this is kind of why I did it this way. So if we wanted to, we could we could put something else here. So we could put uh, what's what's a woody thing? It's a what's a woody kind of texture? I guess kind of, I don't know if I, I want this. I want something different in the middle. I want... Now let's just do this. Let's just do this. Okay, let's just do this. Set this guy, boom. Just for the sake of uh, getting this section done, we're gonna do this. Copy. And then copy. Now I get all of these, so it's like copy, even though I copied one too many. So I'll delete this guy, but not that. Right, I guess it's gonna be easier to do it here. We could do a sprite selection, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna delete that. Why is there limits? Uh, probably because of the engine limitations. Like back in the day when you made stuff like this, you'd have to understand uh, computers had limits, you know? They still technically do, you know? Yeah. Now I, I I don't think I actually like this too much, but we're gonna we're gonna pretend this is this is fine, okay? Just just for this. We're just gonna play pretend. Now I'm gonna get a little a little fancier here. We're gonna
Okay, we're going to do this. I noticed my music stopped. One, two, three, four. Two. What we're going to do is we're going to take this texture that we used for this. We're going to go up here. Paste that there. Paste that there, there, there. Just for now. We'd want to make this line up with the windows too, actually, to be honest, but we'll we'll do for now is yeah let's let's just do it do it Yeah, that looks that, that looks fine. No, but we got to this. No, we can do this. And then wait, can then we? Then we can do this, right? Is that what? What? Yes. So it's kind of pointless. Nice. Okay. So why are we doing this? We're gonna we're gonna mask. So we're gonna do a little mask here. I guess we, we kind of wanted this window to be on a window, uh, but for, for now we're just going to pretend it's not. So we're going to mask this though, we're going to do this, put a little, little see-through window here, just so you could see through it. I'm not going to make it like breakable or anything right now. And boom. So there we go. And for fun, we're going to put a little, we're going to put a, we're going to put a pig cop here. Actually, let's do an Assault Trooper, just so it doesn't kill me. Uh, same guy. Uh, the Brahma engine looks pretty cool. I mean, I, I saw that uh, little edit of it. Looks nice. Where's my little man? So there's my little man. So what we're going to do is we're going to just save this. And maybe you're right. Maybe we'll come back to this next week, too, and we'll do a little bit more. Not for as long as this. this. This was a little bit more of a bigger distraction than I anticipated. And we didn't really get a ton done. But um, just just for fun. Just to show that you could just do stuff. Actually, let's... We'll, we'll do one better, too. We'll put the shotgun there. Uh, put some... Sh put, put a shotgun. Classic. And we'll save this as stream board. And then we'll play it. Okay, we're going to just load it up in the actual game. So that way you guys get to, to see what we just created. I think it would probably be better to, if maybe next week we did it where it's like, I set a timer or something, so it's like you instead of getting stuck on on super hyper details, nothing nothing wrong with that, but just for the purpose of showing what we could potentially get done in, in a set period of time, maybe that, that would be neat. Um, plans on removing the limits. Oh, that's very easy, just to throw around and hype, and it's in years. Yeah, Raze looks interesting from a 
Pretty as a grommet, it just seems to have problems with looking straight up and down from what I've seen. Um, I, I, I haven't done a ton of in-depth research on the Brahma. I just, I know it's in development, he says it's buggy, but it's just interesting watching somebody develop their own little side engine. Here's this polymost for now. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get this ready for for the game as well. So I have. It was a different version of E Duke. Okay, so he here here's the map we just made in Duke Nukem. Right, so here's Duke Nukem in all its, its splendor, in all its glory. We made this map. You'll see that the sizing textures I have, this is like the default texture for real. So this is what it actually looks like. Got my shotgun. Now this is walkable because we, we did it that way. So the salt troopers paid attention to us so we can walk through here. I can't break. Oh, I, I did, forgot I had blocking off. But the idea is we could go in here. Now we could go upstairs, walk on this shoot him um but there's like pros and cons to this right so one of the issues with using a sprite floor is you can kind of see him sticking out so we could fix that by adding a little bit of a depth right so instead of making this just so flat we would add some a little bit of height here make like a, the floor this would be carpet on top so there's a bunch of little tricks we could do um and we could make this window breakable so you could jump in and get some height and give it the illusion. And then we could keep stacking layers up. And then the other one we could do, I'll, I'll load this just so that we can see it as an example, um, which we've shown off last map as well, but uh, sorry, last stream as well. I think it's this one. Which was my little, oops. Come on. Uh, is we made this as a little true room over room test. How many floors can you make? How much can you imagine? Really? Like, there's not really a limit to that kind of stuff as far as I know. Um, it's just, there. like, so from when you're doing a sprite, floor where you're stacking things on top of each other you're going to have like as far as i know you can mess with the ai doesn't see them as floors so it just sees it all as one level so it, i think all the ai just activates um correct me if i'm like i'm wrong here but i know there's some funkiness that happens with uh ai when you're just using sprite floors compared to doing um true room over room so what we got here is dn stuff the true room or room test so you'll see this little artifact in here so right where this is kind of messing up is is one of the layers there's i think three layers here there's one two three so what we're doing is you can't go on top of things this is not sprite so these are all sectors so technically by me going on here i i shouldn't be able to go on top of here because i can go underneath here and, and you can't do that so you can't go on top of something and underneath it. That's different from having a, like a ceiling because you're never going to go on top of the ceiling. 
Um, so that's the difference between true, true room for room to more make more of a 3D object. Uh, it does have its own limitations as well. So like you're seeing this artifact in here. Allegedly, that's maybe something that they're fixing. I don't I don't know. Or there's a way of working around. I, is, is the classic render different? Somebody mentioned that they changed how the game handles this stuff. Oh, they did. Like, obviously, classic renderer has its own issues. But, oh, yeah, it has a different issue up there. But these issues down there aren't as bad. And then, according to Toilet Duck... He says Polymer seems to have the best. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Polymer actually makes this way more bigger in scale than I imagined. Right? So, but yeah, that, that's way better for, for this true, that short stuff. Because none of that artifacting is happening. That I was having before in uh, Polymost or in Classic, so that's kind of cool to know. The, the only downside I I noticed with Polymer is when we flipped over to, uh, when we were playing uh, Shrapnel City 2096 and we tried Polymer, is it like it crashed the frame rate? Um, so I'm not sure what the pros and cons of both will be, but I will say Polymer, I do like this weird like I. Am I the only one who feels like I get a different sense of verticality than if if I do something in poly most or maybe I'm maybe it's just because it's brighter? I don't, know. I don't know. That's a different thing altogether. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, uh, we're going to start the map now, but I'm going to quickly go to the bathroom. Uh, I have one more pill I have to take as well. So I'm going to grab that too. So give me like five minutes, if that, just to quickly do that. And then we will, uh, I'll flip over to the actual map and we'll start playing it. We'll start, I'm starting way lower later than I intentionally did, but I thought but it's okay. Nothing wrong with that. So give me like, not even five minutes, maybe two.
Do, 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 do. Oh well. Uh, for that chore thing, see, I told you, not, it wasn't even, it wasn't even five minutes. I was contemplating I was going to go outside and smoke first, but I'm like, no. Normally by now we would be into the map. Um, okay, so now, uh, because we did this before, uh, I want to, I'm going to do this as well. We're going to crack open. So before we get into the actual map map, we're going to, we're going to take a view. See how, how much it can fit in this without without it getting distorted. This is one of the things I was trying to set up before stream is I was gonna have like little set scenes. Just to make this visually look nicer for you guys. But it'll be ready for next one. I promise. Not that anyone was asking for it, but I was. Uh so uh, we're gonna be playing uh another tech one and two. And I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this earlier. I'm pretty sure this is the first time we played a Martin Van Oster map, unless it was in one of those uh, compilation packs that I, I, I kind of forgot about, like uh, a Ducard, for example. Um, I personally played his brother's maps. I know that for sure. And I know we've talked about uh, Martin's maps. So it's, it's definitely something that uh, I know has been brought up a ton. Uh, a Plimmer... I think in order to, to solve some of the issues, it's basically sacrifices original behavior mappers like to use. To be honest, that polymer uses usually go to cells present. It hasn't really broken. It's really broken. Yeah, and I know the general consensus, other than toilet duck mentioning it, it does fixes the chore stuff. So maybe for toilet duck stuff, it would be better for polymer, I'm assuming. Because if we did uh actually before I before I do this. I'm just I'm just curious about one thing here. So we're gonna do Yes, yeah, so this is Snowman's Land. You haven't played a Mart map, okay, cool. So this is Snowman's Man land in Polymose. So we're gonna switch to Polymer. Ah, it does that. Interesting little lighting effects. I don't I don't hate that either. Uh, so I'm going to DN crows this just so w we can fly around. So this is like true room of a room over right here, for example. And yeah, it works pretty well for polymer. Because this was having, like, if we flip over to Polymos, just so you can see what we're talking about, though you saw it in that other map, we... Actually, I'm not getting it as bad right... Oh. I gotta apply changes. You'll see right underneath the, the this, this distortion. And that's what we got when we played it as well. Of all three, yeah. I can definitely see that. And I could see if you do build your map for a specific renderer, how how it could be like, how it could work better. So that's cool to know. Uh, if you go north area with the key platform, it's not nearly as glitchy as Polymer. Are you talking about this one? Oh yeah, this. Yeah. I I do kind of like this lighting. Again, not for everything, and but it's it's wow. Uh, okay, anyways, that's a that that that's this is just an interesting tidbit. I didn't I wasn't really fully aware of, so I'm kind of glad we went over that a little bit. Anyways, this is the uh, readme for Martins. 
Uh, I don't know if there's a, much of a plot here, but it goes over. So this came out in 2020. Uh, the sequel, or part two, came out in 2021. I actually thought these maps were a lot sooner. I didn't I didn't realize these were made this recently, I guess. Uh, not going to make any promises. Well, he did make a sequel, so we know that. So it's based on a real-life location. Uh, Woodrichum. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. Uh, in short, you have three ways to get make your way. Each way has one key card. Also, when using three key cards, there's a climax. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so kind of like a, a choose-your-own-adventure style, so it's not necessarily... So essentially, two endings, if you want to think about it like that, I'm assuming. So each one probably goes to the same kind of ending, just different ways to get there. But if you take all three, then you get a, a, a bone finale, if you will. Uh, so it is single player, Duke match level, yes, but not tested. Yes, no, it's the same, I feel like a robot. Uh, yeah, I kind of wish I, I knew that before. I would have I would have probably played your maps with Polymer. Um I guess we always have the next one. Uh, your mother. Level editor match 32. Studio 1. Music is art, right? Um, so he did his own music for this. Let's all the good stuff. Oh, it's a pandemic map. That makes sense. Oh, I got I gotta collect uh select my options here to get the music working before I forget. CK three D dimension. Not tested. Building most ironic on the other sick. Thanks a lot. Information. Check every corner of the map when you need ammo and health. Also save often. I made the music for this map in mind. Uh so uh this is this is the main reason I wanted to show this, because normally I play in poly most, but this says to play in classic mode. So I'm contemplating whether or not we should play a classic mode here. Um, since he asked. I know it would probably be fine in Polymost, but maybe we'll do classic with this. Um, and yeah, so that's the little readme for, for this guy. No real real plot here. Sometimes we'll get a little plot. Uh, so let me quickly exit out of this so we can choose the file directory. Oh, and as, oh, as always, if you uh, haven't liked and subscribed, feel free to do so uh, now or in the future. Helps the channel out that algorithm because trust me the algorithm's not looking for Duke Nukem as much as we want it to it's not uh, a lot of newer non chore maps that would have benefited from chore but I can understand why people wouldn't want to use it um, yeah so the only real, uh, the thumbnail I made for this, what you're seeing now, is the only thing that I have, or maybe, depending on if it's switched scenes already, is pretty much as the most I've seen of the map. And I, I loaded up the second map, and I was going to do like a weird two-for-one thumbnail where it was combined the two, but I don't want to go beyond the intro, like the starting area to spoil myself. So, uh, you know... So we're going to do classic for this guy as per the notepad. Which means we're probably going to have some slight distortions looking up, but, you know. I just want to double check to make sure I actually select the right file path. Did I? Yeah, I did. Um... Oh, 
messages on. Sorry, forgot to add messages off for screenshots. Got to get my sea legs going on here, so give me a second. I could probably actually normally have the, the uh, video mode as a little bit brighter, but we'll go back to the vault for this. If we're doing classic renderer. Some of the older maps we play, I find I have to bump it up a little bit. But if this is made relatively recently, we're probably good. Okay, so. Oh, let me do. Might get much. I'm not really getting anything, so I'll, I'll put VSync back on. Yeah. Ah, oh, I see what you're doing there. So this, <laughs> they cut this out of a sector. I don't remember what, uh, what sprite that is to know why we need to cut it out uh, of a sector. But we've definitely seen that technique used before, so that's interesting. I like the little uh, the little mask they added for COVID. Uh, we've got five secrets here. We're gonna try to get all the secrets, but it's not a not a guarantee that we're gonna we're gonna win or succeed. Okay, invisible walls. I don't know. I wonder why that's sticking out. Yeah, and I will say a lot of CK three D stuff. I, I when I first played it, I just assumed it was uh, uh Troar. And so it's it's kind of impressive when you find out it's not. Just want to make sure is the audio fine? Yeah. Try to think if we want to tackle this by trying to snipe these recon patrols. Well, probably not, because now we ran out of ammo, so. Can't get up there. Okay, let's grab some shotgun ammo. And we'll... Take some unnecessary damage by not jumping in the water instead. Can't get up there. Okay, so we're gonna go to the door. No. Okay, we're gonna go down here. Always test to see if we can go in it. Look at this little canoe. Slight missed line there. Negative 10 points. Uh, I like these little boats though. Wait. I see that freezer there. So we know he's not doing Troar. I want to save right here just because I feel like I'm going to hurt myself doing this jump. Actually, what am I doing? Why don't I just do this? Can I climb up these? No. I'm going to go back here. Go up there and just drop down. Grab that freezer. tree boom okay where do we
do we want to tackle this? Uh, I'd be doing other things, new things, though, for sure. Martin Style's crazy, very impressionist. It's, it's so weird how sometimes the pistol is amazing for sniping things, and then sometimes Duke is drunk. Um, I'm okay with Impressionist style. Uh, I'm not trying to necessarily break the map, so I, I don't... I don't... So we can't climb up there. Can't climb up there. I guess we could go up here. And then we'll go up here. I see that. Is this whole thing like this? Okay. Let me turn up the slide for me. There. It'll be easier for me to see. Another secret place? Oh my god, it's game over already, guys. We already got the shrink ray. I see them. Always satisfying watching these guys. Uh, no. Let's use this. Oh. So just in case ammo is going to be really low. I didn't read. Did we have uh, difficulty settings in this? I didn't want to waste that. Okay, can't jump up there. I guess this would be an easy way to get back over. But could we use that to get on there? We pr I probably could. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on what I feel is the set path. Which is not this way, I imagine. Get a little too focused. Like in these little trees, I wonder if, uh, it's maybe lower the volume a little bit for me. I wonder if I can climb up them. We'll find out next time. Is there anything else here? You see a little... I'm assuming that's just the body, but I keep thinking that's uh, something else. Your ammo. Okay, you're not going to give me ammo. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, well. Oh. 
want to conserve my ammo a little bit. Uh, we'll save right here. I still want to see if I can climb this. I like. I don't know why I feel like maybe I'd, I'd put a secret on top of a tree. Oh, yeah, there's, there's something on there. There's a big something on there, I feel. Maybe I should clear out this area first. Or I try to experiment trying to climb things. <gasps> okay, I don't think there's anything of value in there. Maybe I, I'm, I think I'm going crazy. Thought I saw like a silver object and I thought it was in a like a weapon. Well, we got these. <laughs> We all know how we feel about these. Uh, what do we got here? Okay, so that's an invisible wall. Let's zoom out a little bit. Man, I don't want to. I don't want to trigger too many enemies at once when I have this few ammo. So let's try to see if we can. Got some broken paddles here. I don't know if there's anything ever in these. Got some health. Always need that. Oh, more health, even better. And I save right when I'm taking damage. Classic. Oh, ammo. Got it. See? See nice little sectors? Let's hide in here. Okay, so interesting. Could probably get up here, not quite. I'm always checking to see if I can dive under the water, you know? You never know when someone's gonna, gonna throw one of those in. They're like, oh, everywhere you can't go underwater except for this one spot. Okay, I see you. Thank you for taking away so much ammo. I mean, health. And ammo, I guess. I like this. Little little sprite column here. It's just one of those tiny, tiny design flourishes. Even though now we're not going like hyper detailed here, we're just going for like a general fear feel and atmosphere. Uh, not quite jumps. I can sell. Can I drink this? Yeah, we can. So what we're gonna do is. We gotta use these guys to our advantage. Huh. Okay, well, we know where there's gonna be health. Let's grab that health. Oh, 
god, I, I saw them out of the corner of my eye. I'm trying to save ammo here. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh god. Ooh. Maybe a sm yep. Okay. Gotta get my sea legs here. Gotta get my sea legs. So I wanna take out I do wanna take out these guys. I think a better strategy is going to be this for them. I don't think that took up both of them. So we'll do another one. And we'll take out this guy. Or try to. There's a health on top of that truck we want. Once we get healed up, I, th I think I'll be we'll be good. I think we'll be fine. Then we have that to drink as well. So what we'll do is. feeling good about this now. Oh yeah. Got some ammo. The Krusty Krab. This is Patrick. That's a Spongebob reference. I'm no Spongebob expert. But I do know that. Because of how wide open this is, I didn't really think I'd be having um, difficulties, especially with this uh, roster of enemies so far. But... Oh, I am mistaken. Saving at 50 HP. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know why I did that either. Like, especially because I, I knew where the issue was. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm just jumping and easily killing myself. I just want to make sure a recon vehicle is not going to do that. I think we, I think we got a lot of them cleared. Yeah, I did it for the challenge. I did it for the views, really. Yeah, I thought that would be a, a great way to garner more attention for the channel if I intentionally try to beat the map with one HP. Oh my god, I see the recon guys coming. There's so many. Oh my god, there's more. Is there a factory? Are we making more? I wonder if you can do that. Alright. 
We're safe. We're feeling confident. Watch the recon come the other way this time. As long as I always have, like, water in the level, like this, I'm okay if it's a challenge. Because I, I always have some kind of way of unscrewing myself. At least from a health perspective. I might run into, like, an ammo issue. All right, 100 HP. We're good. Okay, let's go on this guy. I still... I wonder if... Uh... Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Jump on that door to get across. Or get up. Please don't open. Now we got the yellow key card. All this. Could try sniping a few guys if we wanted. I, I don't. Sometimes we get like blocked from sectors. Uh, doesn't want to be the case there. I see a little head poking out, but I, I can't. Hopefully that worked. Oh, is there some ammo there, or is that just a body? Okay, just a body. I don't know if there's a secret or anything. These guys, I still, I don't know why I'm still thinking about that tree. So we got the yellow key card. We could go back to the beginning and open that big door, but I think what we're going to do is my tried and true strategy is always to try to clear out the outside sector and then work our way inwards so we're going to try to still work our way um around this guy this outer sector here to get a good lay of the land and then we'll uh we'll move inwards especially when we're they mentioned the uh oh there's the end of the level I'm just gonna put a trip mine there just in case he he woke up at, at this point though he should drown he should be able to he should drown okay so there's the end of the level potentially Guess we could use this too. At least for assault troopers. Okay, yellow key card there as well. Hmm. Where do we want to use this yellow key card? He's on that door. There's that door. And then there's the door in the beginning. Choices. Choices all around. Um, hmm. Like, they're probably all going to connect. It probably doesn't really matter. I also don't know if this is a level where if you use it one... Is it going to unlock all of them, or is this like a multi key card approach here? Forgot I died. Has different entry points. But is it like now that I've used that yellow key card, is this one open, for example? That's what what I'm curious about. Okay, yeah. So so once you use it. All areas are open. Okay, we're going to go this way now, since we're here. 
Not that way. Uh, let's go this way. I don't want to use. I want to use shotgun, I guess, for this guy. I'm going to comment on some design stuff in a second. <laughs> We're going to... like this little playground. I still think my favorite playground so far is maybe Winterfall. That was a pretty cool playground. But I do like this. I like this little slide. Not slide. What do you call this? Uh, I'm assuming this is like you sit on it and it, it it's it's like a... A repelling rope kind of thing. Okay, so there's the... Oh, maybe they're all yellow key cards. Interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, this is this is interesting. Cool. Fires of Gondor are lit. So... This, oh, he's doing it for these. I thought these had blocking on, these little things sticking out for grass. And I was going to criticize that, but it's it's the little tree bushes here. Oh, that's a neat idea for a trampoline. Using that, uh, I always call it like a stool circle or whatever. And then... Uh, So we could go on, I imagine we could go on, probably be easier to do it, unless, it'd be cool if this trampoline worked and I could jump on, on that. I'm, I'm kind of overcomplicating it because I should be able to just jump on, oh, he's got some blocking there going on. Interesting, okay. So maybe maybe we can't. And there's blocking on here too. So we're gonna assume no. Got another weapon, though. I'm going to always take that. Uh, there's a, a degree of absurdism to it. Inventive? Yeah. I totally get a vibe. Yeah, because even stuff like... And you could argue maybe it's like, oh, I don't, uh, I don't know how prolific of a map maker they were or how much they had under their belt at the time but it's like okay like could you make that boat look more like a boat probably yeah but i don't think you always also need to right if you're selling an overall idea like everything kind of matches and i like those little scenes that you create with like that that slide over there nice little touch uh, okay, that's a switch. Devastator. I'm just seeing if I can maybe do some some jumps. I don't I don't have a feel for his style of maps yet because this is our first one. So after a while, I kind of start to get a feel of how each mapper does certain things to understand. Like, how they do secrets, or how do they design areas? Uh, are they expecting me to jump on things? Is it more platforming, trick jumps? I don't I don't quite know what to expect quite yet. So, like, for example, as you mentioned, a lot of jumps that you feel like you can make, but then you can't.
Wow, perfect time to try to mute my mic to cough as somebody's shooting a rocket in my face. I think the shrink ray is still my uh, go-to for overlord or what are those, uh, commanders. But at the same time, I've, I found that I conserved my shrink ray a lot more now that I know how easy it is for like battle lords. Look at that guy. He's tripping out over there. I don't know if you can see him very well. It's a recon. He's doing that. He's probably not making those noises, but. <laughs> like this. You know what? It, like this is kind of. Uh, I know this is based on a real place, so I don't have that same uh, point of. The doors really are platforms, etc. is great. Uh, the. Um, like, I, I don't know the actual visual representation of the city. Actually, uh, give me a second. Maybe we'll... We'll just quickly... Um, I'm not going to like look at try to find every single thing that matches but I wonder if we so this is Woodrisham which this is based off of just so we can kind of have a visual representation because for Uh, you're kind of pointy houses. Like we're not going for a realistic approach for everything here. It's definitely, definitely heavily stylized. There's that windmill here. I definitely saw that in that screenshot I made. Um, a lot of water though, so that makes sense. I hope we see this little man, this little monopoly looking man. Um, I do like it. Got a little bit of variety in terms of because you got a town area, you got your water area, you got your your grass. Oh, you can't see what I'm looking at, but it's slightly off screen. I'm looking at this picture right here. Got your grass, um, but these kind of have a, like a weird Tim Burtony vibe houses. Okay, so he, he does stick out the ones he wants you to jump on. Because the ones on the boat, you could easily tell were sectors instead of just sprites for detailing. So hopefully we don't just see a random one where it's like, oh no, this one sprite you can jump on. Okay, so this is the one where we, if we have all three key cards... It's like the essence of a real place without being super, super, super much. So I'm assuming this is what all of these are going to unlock. This windmill. Like, I can't tell. Is this is supposed to be greenery? Or is this uh, something taken over? Okay, this is... If I haven't saved in a while, try to remind me. I'm terrible at remind reminding myself. I want to get up there. Okay, that's just back here can't use that to get on there. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh yeah, th this definitely has that design of some of the houses we just saw too. Okay.
So let's flip this to open that up. Got some sprite guys here. Interesting. So we're doing sprites there. I guess that's so we get this parallaxing going on. I see that overlord, but I'm pretty sure that's just decoration. some ammo. Still showing off that one area. Oh, it's different down. Okay. There's the bar. So that's the beginning area we saw. Like, because this uh, big bar sign we, we can see right at the start. So we can drop down there. Drop down by the cinema. There's Duke, so that's right there. Another yellow key. The red key by the T-Rex. T-Rex is that band we mentioned, and uh, we saw it referenced a few times. Is that his band with his brother? Is that the one? Um, I thought I hit him. I hit him. Get closer. I just want him a little bit closer. No, he's not. He's moving away. Immersion and friends. I thought the band name. You're like, yeah, but they also have another band called Immersion and Friends. I think that's that's cute. Let's do freezer for this guy, or not. I'm ruining my plan, buddy. Like, thankfully, there's health here. Save here. Oh. I swear, is there just like an unlimited supply of recons or? This is not ideal for that. I should use a chain gun for longer ranges like that. Uh, let's do. Uh, do, 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 do. It's t tough because do I want to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, uh, or Robotism, Ricola, what did they call it? Instead of bless you, a uh, like sometimes you could do that diagonal jump, right? And I I don't know if I would ever, can, even though that's something you can do, I w I don't know if I'd ever want to design a map. Not not that that's happening here. But because there's a few times where I'm like, I wonder if I could do a diagonal jump where you get a little bit more air that way, and especially if you do a diagonal crouch jump. Would I ever want to design a map, even for a secret, where that that would need to be required? Because I feel like that's more like a speed running exploit exploit uh, than a uh, a 
official way to play. You know what I'm saying? Like here I could do just a regular jump. Uh, we want to go down here. I could see something down there. Assuming that's going to teleport me. We're not going to jump down there yet, though. We're not going to doubt, jump down there. Man, a lot of recons. We're going to still try to clear our way. Uh, and then we're going to go indoors, I think. I find the shotgun actually has good range for these guys. Okay, we do have some respawning going on. Or not respawning, uh, just spawning. Well, a steroid jump's a little different, right? But a, a crouch jump as a requirement, I don't know. Like, there's no rules. So, you know. Okay, let's get that... Freezer ammo. this little pond edge right here to do that, that like slime but you know, like have lily pads I guess and stuff build up it's not a hyper detailed map but there's a lot of overall details this house will be finished and finished when it's done I think the only time it's really super important is if you're doing maybe uh, an episode or maybe even a, a community project because then then if you don't have established consistent rules and, and you just change them every single map uh, I could see you getting mixed signals like a little confused a lot of invisible walls I did that. I, want, I wanted a pipe bomb. Uh, anyways, I'm trying to get up here so I can jump across these ledges. This is anything else I want up here? No. load that save hopefully i didn't save five miles back i'm kind of worried i did but i feel like i just saved yeah Okay, now that we're on here. Ooh. 
I like the skyline he's got going on here. There's like a little houses littered. You see the cities. I'm going to save right here just in case uh, I regret my decision. I don't need that health, but I just wonder, like, would you call that a secret? Probably not. No. Okay. okay, so this leads back down here. I hear him. There he is. I don't know if that was necessary. So this is how we get up here. I was going to comment on that. Like, I, I maybe it's in the other renders it'll look better, but it always looks weird. Cer there's certain choices... Like, it does fit. And if you want to go for, like, a gloomy, cloudy atmosphere, I get it. Uh, but yeah, it wouldn't be the one I would choose either. Or I should say myself, I wouldn't choose it. Uh, but I also get why somebody would choose it when you're going for a very specific kind of style. I'm just not, I'm never confident enough with my choices to make something that isn't like super kind of detailed, I guess. So doing something that's more of it, trying to get you the feeling of a, a visual instead of like trying to recreate it 100% uh, is where I, I will, I tend to fall flat on a little bit. So I can, there's this. Probably couldn't jump there. It's probably an invisible wall. So I'm not going to try. <clears throat> um, I like how you can see down there still. Excuse me, I can't look up. Let's go up here. to deal with that patrol guy yet. Maybe I will, actually. Oh, hi. Oh. I will say, like, I actually thought um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with, like, how much uh, is fit into this little tiny area, right? Because I, I traversed all the way across here, but I it didn't come to my attention that or that this this section right here that I'm seeing was there. I, I don't know how to, how to describe or put into words like width wise. I just didn't I didn't realize there was so much area still unexplored. It's just this. I wonder why we're choosing these guys here. Like, I guess maybe that's where the keys are, is always in, in these areas. Um, feels like there's a lot of them. RPG there. So we could jump on here. No, probably be easier to go on this one. Uh, then go across here. Oh, Devastator. Yeah, I'll grab that. Singular pipe bombs always throw me off because I always feel like we're going to be needing them right then and there. Um... 
Again, we still have the things we can maybe go in. I, I'm assuming we're going to go inside some rooms based on the drops that they're doing. But I wonder... So I want to get that. I see that up there. I wonder if it's worth blowing that up. Probably not. Okay. Um, because I could jump up there and jump across here. I could maybe make this jump. Yeah, that looks like if I did a a diagonal jump and it's not an invisible wall. Uh, fun fact, all those roof jumps used to be blocked in the beta. Huh. So then he added them. Much better after Martin unblocked most of the walls. Like, I, I don't think he... Like, I could totally see why you would block them and, and be okay with that choice as well. Um... But since he also wants me to go on top of roofs as well for some stuff, it always, like, you never know. You don't want people to get the wrong idea that you just can't, you can't go up certain places. Oh, this is a secret? Oh, okay. Wait, what was the third secret? <laughs> when did we get that? Um, and so many. I've seen a bunch of people do this and uh yeah yeah th th that's because there's so many places where it looks like i'm you're trying to say yeah you can jump there and then it's just out of reach right and so i uh, you, you do get kind of discouraged from jumping places which is okay but then all of a sudden if you need to jump somewhere you've you've kind of taught me not to <laughs> um or at least there should be an idea. This is cool. Think smaller. Mmm. So, this was kind of what we were doing in the mapping thing that we did this morning, just as like a little warm up and show it off. So, this is an example of what I was trying to refer to, too. Like, they thickened it up. So, these are all sprites. So we could potentially maybe jump on there. Again, he's doing a doing a lot of jumps that I feel like Shaky Grounds did something similar too, which makes sense since they're brothers. But there's a bunch of places where I, I thought I might be able to jump, but couldn't. But in theory, we could get on top of there and run around. But it's it's sprites to mimic the idea of uh, having a room on over room. Think smaller. Don't know if that means. We are just doing that as graffiti, or if maybe we're going to use a shrink ray here as a uh, way to get somewhere. I 
I might as well get a lot of these. Grab that health up there. Yeah, also that beginning, which was our own fault for constantly jumping and killing ourselves. Um, that was pretty good. Like, I, I don't really feel overly overwhelmed so far. It's a very casual jaunt around the city. These knives being used as a a, a little what do you call it? Like just a post? That's kind of a neat idea. I don't think I've ever seen somebody do that before. It's inventive. Alright, we're on top of the Duke Burger. Hmm. Okay, so it's a very big... Don't, oh, need that ammo. <clears throat> I think we got most of the outside area. Uh, I don't know how many, like, interactive elements we have in these maps. Yeah, because we went on top of there, went on top of there. So we just have these little side ones. Do this, this, this. Okay. So that's we can drop down there. How do we get that, though? Not sure if we skipped. Uh-huh, okay, so we got a little... Force field going on. So taking a quick look at here. We didn't get to look at there. Oh, I like this. Look at that. Very nice little keyboard. I, I, I always love stuff when it's constructed out of sprites, like somebody tries to make something. Even, or sectors, too. like Or combinations thereof. Um, it's just fun. So we got this. It's a nice little detail. Let's go through here. You know, we got a few tops of buildings that didn't go on, but I don't I think we got all the major stuff. Looking at the scope of this, just that weird, weird little side room right here. But that's probably uh, <clears throat> just some odd detailing. Bruising. Okay, we're not really lost at all. It's just we're just deep in thought. Okay, so we're gonna go in the. Oh, did we go check up here? Got that atomic health. Let's grab that. And we'll grab that armor. 
I don't know if I need it, but we'll grab it. Oh, I was, I was mentioning something uh, about um, walkways. Not walkways, sorry, certain sprites. I noticed a lot, a lot of people start just flipping sprites upside down and doing that. Excuse me. Or, bless me. Whatever. Um, to... Like, they, they were using it on the parking lot. Always fascinating to me. So I don't, I don't know if it really changes anything. Okay. Let's go in something. So it's not just me running around and looking at the same things for uh, 45 minutes. Worried that I missed something. Uh, go up this one. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I didn't look at this. Okay. I could probably go on that ledge, too. Okay, good to have that open. Yeah, that looks like something that's probably possible as you jump on here. Uh, maybe not. Okay, well, go on here. Maybe not. Okay. Right. <clears throat> go on this one and go in there. We're going to go in the cinema. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. Nice looking arcade going on here. Oh, there's last secret right there. So we can go on here. So even though we don't have any more secrets, we're still going to kind of look as if there might be. Because sometimes you have those secrets that aren't secrets, right? Oh, is that supposed to be a mask? Okay. It right. makes sense. I, for I keep forgetting this is a COVID map. Like this little mouse. Very nice. The dude. Now we're inside. Oh, God. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the arcade first. Come get down. Oh, DDR? That's cool. Dance with Duke. Duke Nukem 2? Oh, I like, I like this. I like how they're trying to do that. Nice little nod. Got your pinball. I mean... Pool. Air hockey. She must devastate her for this. Okay, so we got protective boots, so we can go in here. See, not a secret, but you could you could treat it like a secret. Oh, hello.
could kill these guys, actually. Is there close enough? Just so, just to, just to make things a little easier for us later on. So we've got a toilet. So wherever there's a toilet, we're gonna be able to come in here. Night vision a little bit. Oh. I have. Nailed it. Okay. Oh. No, 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 Okay, so that switch probably opened the force field back in the, uh, oh, ran out of night vision, uh, where the protect protector drones were. I don't know why I didn't just shrink them. So far, I've noticed, like, no openable doors in this map at all. Oh, that's... that's... It's rude. Like this little setup here. It gives me like a early red vibe. Maybe because of the the crampness of the houses. Okay, that's the force field downstairs in the kitchen, I'm assuming. Interesting use of a this for a, a curtain. Oh, okay, and they're making a washer-dryer using... I think that's the, um... Uh, this thing. This thing. Right here? No? What texture is that? Anyways, it's a good washer-dryer. Zoom in here, just in case we're missing something. Assuming this is all sector over sector, then the way the auto map is filling up, especially since we said no trawler. Nailed it.
Interesting design choice here. Is this because they're getting hypnotized? Is that what that's supposed to be implying? You might still be getting... CK might be still getting coffee, but... Uh... I imagine he'll say, oh, cool, cool, cool. Fascinating. So, uh, like, if you kind of look at this, you'll see that this is flat. That image is flat. So this is. And then we're doing a, a teleport here. So are we using a display screen to make that look like that? And then teleporting outwards. Doing a silent teleport there. I wonder why this wall's not solid either. Interesting. I don't I don't know why that is. Okay, so we come out here, flip this switch, that lowers that. I think it's flat. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely flat. But it's like, how... How is that? I just see, a, like, a bit of white when I'm doing this. See that? Like, and I can't tell if that's just the thing teleporting. Or if he built that using sprites. To make it seem... I, yeah, I don't know. Because you couldn't do that angled. So maybe a display screen. I'm gonna do we go. Okay, so the levels changed a bit. Because now we can go up here. Which, oh, so now we can get the, um, I can think, I, we can get, get, uh, the yellow key card, or the extra one. We can also get on all of these buildings now. Just want to see if there's anybody trying to get me. At least it looks like they're using a stay put for these guys, so it's pretty easy to snipe them with that rocket launcher. Let's get some shrinker ammo. Hail to the king, baby. We want to get... I think there's more ammo over there, too. Maybe we'll... There was like a guy way off in the distance. Look at the yellow key card first, I guess. Or I'll fall and uh, have to redo this. Okay. It's my fault. worried I wasn't going to make that jump. Right, save right here just in case. Grab this yellow key card. And this is why I... Oh my 
forgot. I had a little bit more room there. Welcome. Okay, let's get this health that we saw here. I know I have that med kit, but I just don't want to use the med kit yet. I'll probably not even end up using it. I bet. So now, but once we get on here, there's, was there ammo up there that I want? No. That was fast. It was a fast dinner. <clears throat> Okay, so we got yellow key card here before. Uh, and then there's this, but I don't, I don't think. Why are you showing that? Oh yeah, there's that. Okay, let's go. Let's go on that one because I know how to get up there right now. Uh, it's up here. Oh, I didn't even notice that red key card. Was that always there? Oh, is that how I get that? I have to go on here, jump across there, and then go. Okay, okay, okay. I get what I'm supposed to do. Okay, let's get that red key card. Uh, save here just in case, because we're on a little slamp, and I'm terrible at jumping. Oh. Okay. I'm a little off on my jumps when in classic mode. This just kind of... The viewpoint, it's uh, the perspective. It makes me think I'm a little closer than I am sometimes. Oh my god. Okay, so now we can use this to jump up here, jump up here. Oh, it's my jumping. I did one of those sneeze that hurts, that hurts your throat. Really? Yeah. I guess I have to go on here to jump on this to get on that. I guess I have to maybe just die. How about that? Oh, I guess I get to try again, though. All right, all right, all right, all right.
I'm going to use these to our advantage. <clears throat> it wasn't clicking. Okay. Showed him his boss. Uh, got this, got this, got this, got that. Some Devastator ammo. Might as well pick that up. I think we're full on Devastator ammo, actually. Yeah, probably full. Well, I guess not. Uh, do we want to use med kit? And then I see that guy there. That's what I'm thinking about. Wow. Holy cow. Uh, so jump up here, jump up here. Now that we're up here, why are we up here? So we can get up here. Mm -hmm, okay. And this is still, yeah, that's still that. So we're gonna do in here. Do we have a, don't have expander. Just trying to think how I wanna, maybe we'll use a chain gun. Save. Yeah, we found like there's a there's a few areas we found that I'm like that could have been a secret. The funny comedy dog. But uh, yeah, the secrets weren't too bad actually. That's the first door that's actually been workable that I found. Boys only. Okay. Why not? I get it. It's a little dark. I wish I could turn the lights on. Okay. Oh, this was water? Not put two to do together. This was water. Just took it like a champ in the face. Nice. Conflict. 
Might as well, since we're going to get some more. Oh, wow. Butchered that jump. Expecting that to be solid. I was too focused on trying to see where this battle lord is. Oh, I see him. He's down there. Grab that. Is there more than one? Well, it's okay. fan of the style on this one. Gives me major roast vibes. Yes, that's true. We, you are not a fan of roast vibes. I, I was trying to think of what it does. Like, I guess your like roach would be a good one. I was thinking uh, early red series as well. Maybe it's because of the way the interiors are. I don't know why I keep thinking I have these. Um, it is very open like a roach map where I feel like there's like another inside area missing and I have all the key cards though so I went down that one I didn't go down this I don't think I went into... did I go in here? no I didn't Maybe I just somehow skipped a whole section. Uh, but we'll do it. We'll go. We'll go inside. It was over here. Well, maybe I did go inside. Yeah, I think I did go inside this. Never mind. Yeah, I went inside that one. And you can't... There's nothing on top of these guys. Nothing on top of those ones. Nothing on top of those. That's weird, but not too weird. That's okay, okay, okay. That's fine. House right there. I don't know if I still feel because I liked all of them. I wonder if I my opinions on a roach, if I really had to analyze it, if I would notice it as a a non-traditional Duke map. I don't know if I picked up on that quite. There's Duke Burger. That feels like something that we could go in, but maybe not. We still haven't gone here. Not that I think there's anything actually here. Well, because I have all the key cards, we can go to the windmill. I just don't know if if uh, that's something I want to do. Because 
Because we haven't gotten back. Because, like, we have the keys for that. you like the second map a bit better. Especially if someone's learning from experience, though, yeah. You'd hope their maps not necessarily always get better, but maybe things get designed differently. Um, I don't know if I want to try... Because, yeah, I could probably get on this shopping bag through Duke Burger. I don't know if I'd want, like, what the point would be. Okay, so no. And then there's this one. Like maybe if I jump on this and this. Nope, that's invisible. Like right now we're just messing around. Like we can I'm pretty sure we can just go about our business and maybe beat this thing. I just want to... It feels like maybe I should be able to go on there. And that think smaller thing's throwing me off. Especially with this. Well, you know what? We're going to save, and then I'll use the windmill. Uh, I think it's a whole process of evolution, but with Merlin and Martin Strom helped each other create this masterpiece. I do like shaky grounds. Wait, where's the where's this? So we got that one. I like it. So this technically gives us the true ending. By having all of these, I wonder if we're going to fly using this windmill. Okay, see that ammo? visual of this place. It doesn't look like there's anything really on the shopping bag. dark there. I wasn't sure if uh, where I was going. Oh, so now we're in the shopping bag. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Meat market. Okay, meat market's closed. Usually, I use the secrets as a good judge to see how far I am in a map. So, having a all my secrets so early on and you're saying this is the second half of the map unless it's just a shorter half why is that like that okay so think smaller that's how we would get out of here maybe not actually
Let's save right here. Let's get my freezer out. here well, we're going in almost all the buildings now just uh, in a different way it's interesting interesting way of doing it but it suppresses himself in these uh sorry, his space tronic map was the penultimate of his ability to create hostile environments in space, even more so than the unknown planet. Suppress himself a design itself. Another attack is a huge step forward. Oh, so that was beforehand? Huh. Still gotta maybe do a a more space focused stream. That's kind of I'm kind of curious with that shrink part, because that definitely looks like I could shrink out and get out that way. I don't know why I'd want to. I like the these little views on the outside because I'm assuming we're like this is all just built or replicated. If I were to no clip out, and we're not actually looking out into the actual map that we were traversing. Could be wrong. Is pretty impressive. Yeah, the scale is good. Yeah, the scale is good. And there's always something to learn, even from every map, even if I, you don't personally connect with it. Like for me, a sector over sector is always a weird thing for me. For for getting so, oh, we're going up the clock tower. Interesting. That ceiling's a little, little low. The ceilings are getting a little low. It's the actual place outside? I guess... Yeah. I just don't know how you do that. Really. I guess I kind of would. Stock on ammo. Obviously, this feels... This feels pretty big. Okay. So that's showing us there and across. So are we going to go across, maybe? Oh, there's the bridge to the other side, to the end of the level. Interesting choice to do it this way. Okay. I feel like I'm not getting very much cover from these little guys here. That's a see-through screen, that's why. I was looking at something in the distance, getting distracted. Terrible idea. Okay, I just want to... 
take a peek here. Good view of the city. I don't want to jump off. Where was that guy? Where's 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 Mr. Funbag, sir? Let's take care of these guys. Maybe pistol would be better. I don't know. I think there's an elevator to go down. Yeah, it's right there, I'm assuming. This thing right here. <laughs> oh no. Well, I guess I... You know what? <clears throat> it's a second go at the battle. It's a second go. I think what I should do, wait for these guys to get a little closer. We'll deal with these guys. And then... My plan was to maybe use them to uh, explode their friends, but uh, maybe we'll pistol these guys. Okay, we'll change it up then. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go street level for this one. Hey, and I can get back here. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, I want these guys to drop down a little. It's hitting these ones, and I don't want it to hit these ones. I want. Oh god, there's another one. Done. Save here. Gotta just be mindful of my surroundings kind of here.
think we did pretty good. Still got that Battle Lord over there. Is there multiple Battle Lords? Um, nailed it. Nailed it. We still didn't go d in here. Sub dog. Um, okay. Thought the invincible battle or bugs could happen that for a moment. There. That's what I thought was happening. I thought I, I I broke something. Um. Okay. So I cleared out that. Cleared out that. I still haven't gotten on top of the shopping bag. Not that I I feel like there's much point to it. And did I hit? Forget to hit a button on top. Because I know I'm supposed to go across the bridge, and that's where the end of the level is. Um, yeah, well. So I'm going to try to get into the shopping bag. And I think to do that, we'll have to jump from there to there. So if we want to top it here. Go across here. fall so we'll reload I'm kind of curious I wonder what would be different if I only had one of the key cards since that's the implication is you could do this with only one key card Let's do it from here. 
visible wall. What? Can I get in that little section? That's what I want. That little little ledge. Before calling it a day and, and moving on to part two. Well, maybe not. I, I, maybe there's more. Okay, I give up. Get inside the windmill? Oh. Oh, this is just unlocked. Okay. Oh, I don't even get to hit the mountain. Okay, awesome. What we're going to do is we're going to load that up. I just want to, I kind of want to look around a little bit. So we're going to go in here, sit, I quickly do a little no clip uh, exploration. Then we'll take a brief little break. I'm going to grab a, uh, probably a different caffeinated beverage. Uh, go outside for a second. And then we'll start part two. I might order... You know, because it's Saturday, and as is tradition, we uh, will have pizza. So we're going to order some pizza. And maybe I'll do that on my break as well, just so that's here. Um, okay, let's check out shopping bag here. I want to see what, if anything, is actually here. This thing, smaller thing, I just it's still throwing me off. I guess it's probably just graffiti. Ah, so it's all invisible. Okay, so this is all blocked off. Uh, we're not supposed to be back here. Uh... So what we're going to do is let's let's zoom out and we're going to go DN show map just so we get the full details here and DN clip. Wow, really get to see the scope of uh, how just large everything is. I didn't even notice this. I, the bell? I didn't even notice that. Uh, so let's see. Got all these cool side little areas. Yeah, got the house over there. Let's see if we've got anything back here. Of course, of course. Interesting texture choice there. I wanted to see this stuff. It's separate area with teleport. Yeah, for the inside he did, but I don't know if all of the areas are going to be like that. Um, some back here. Take a screenshot of that. I always like it when I find out about found little things like this. 
they're just a it's fun little 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 encouragement to no clip around you know oh i guess we could find out if there's something on the the trees but uh let's check here first It's like always impressive to make these little cityscapes when they're you're never gonna get there, but it's it's just just enough to give the the impression. I didn't even notice this bridge that he made. I think he did good with the soundtrack too, because he mentioned he made it. Works out well for this. So I don't want to end the level, so I don't want to go there. But I want, what did that sign say? Camping now there. Okay, okay, so camping. Um, I think that's about it. I want to see the inside area, which is off on this direction. Um... So we're going to go to the inside area. Yeah, see, that's what exactly what he did. It looks like. OK, OK, OK. So I think I was right with my with what I was thinking, um, because when I I don't remember seeing any windows or anything like that when I was perusing the map for going into the shopping bag or anything like that. So I, I, it does look like he made a, a diorama of the places you would see. So, right, for this... You want, mate? Yeah, so this is where we we teleport in. So we look out here, and if we right, so now we've silent teleported because I, I thought this was cool. Like, you, it's got to be a display screen or something to see inside, and then here we are. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Okay, we went through there, but there's still a ton of sector over sector here right it's a ton of that got to go through that got through that got through that there's the church or sorry the arcade and then oops Yeah, because even this, when you're seeing these guys, I was like, yeah, there's no way they're actually there. You're just seeing it. Um, I meant like windows I felt like I could go through. Um, but yeah, like th there's this, this whole this whole section here. It's it's ginormous. just to to kind of hide or give the impression that you can look out from these little windows to this weird diorama like and obviously it's not super hard to do because you can just copy and paste stuff but it's interesting that that was the the choice that was made to make this section work um same thing with a shopping bag and then we have this which i'm assuming is just for like teleporting stuff and that looks like it that looks like all she wrote everything everything need to be seen i think we might have seen 
based on the zoom out. But that was an interesting map. That was that was cool. So what we'll do is, um, again, I'm just going to take a quick break. I'm going to run to the corner store, which is across the street. And so maybe like, I'll say 10 minutes, uh, if anybody else wants to get snack or anything. And uh, I'll be able to order my dinner for the evening. As is tradition for, for Saturday, uh, it is a pizza. Ways before, but always rely on sector over sector over the main map. On. Like, I wonder if we he could have done that differently, and maybe it, that would have been a better choice. Uh, and I, too, like the idea of connecting the spots if possible, too. Uh, unless you're trying to do something a little little strange, a little little weird. Um, with with the with the general visuals. Or uh, perception of reality, I, I guess. Um, so yeah, give me maybe 10 minutes. I'll, I'll still be wandering around in chat if anybody wants to say anything just while I'm outside. Uh, but other than that, give me yeah, 10 minutes. And we'll do part two.
Well, I should say I'm pseudo back. I'm uh, going to pull some, some thumbnails. Uh, and I, I need to wait for the feeling to get back in my hands. It's, it's, it's one of those things that's so cold that your hands kind of just like freeze instantly. I have better gloves, but that's for like hiking and I didn't take them out thinking I was just uh, to be gone for the moment. I like that one's doing okay. That was free, by the way. Yeah. From McDonald's. Yeah, they didn't give you your chocolate milk. Yeah. And again, because it's that bundle, that one you're like, I don't get it. Why you get it? The moment they screw up that bundle, they refund the whole thing. streaming yes i just finished the first map so we just did a map break i'm doing it posting a thumbnail and then we're doing part two because it's a two-part map so like are you currently streaming yeah yeah like it's going yeah people oh, hear okay. you yeah people okay. see you can say hi though granted everyone knows i'm on break so i don't know if anyone's here what is this what is this um that's a pretty good move. <laughs> so I'm using the money I spent on McDonald's to order a dinner. Okay. Not that you're in a rush, because obviously you're just getting that. So. Yeah, no, whatever. I'll eat yeah. whenever I just... Like, I'm not particularly hungry. I just was going to order it to get it out of the way. <laughs> um, no. I was like watching Law Law and Order. Other than the theme song, is is Ice Cube in Law and Order? Or is that Ice T? Sorry, Ice, Ice T. Tea. Is that a Law and Order as who? Oh, Special Victims Unit. Okay. I don't think I've ever actually seen. And is the original Law and Order has the bald guy with the mustache? Is it here, or am I just imagining a, a cliche detective? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I never really watched just the original Law and Order. I, mine was Criminal Intent and Special Victims Unit. And Criminal Intent had Vincent D'Onofrio, so that's why I like that one. Um, and SVU has Christopher Maloney and Ice-T and Mariska Hargitay. Robin Williams is in which one? What? Special Victims Unit. He's in Special Victims Unit. What? Yeah, season 9, episode 17. Oh, he's one episode? Yeah, he's, he's, I think he's the bad guy. Oh, yeah. Spoiler yeah. alert. So what year? I think 2021. He wasn't alive then. 20, 2008. 2008. You're right. 2008. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't remember what he died. What did he die? Come on, are we? Is it still on? I think so. How many, how many Law and Order shows are there? It's supposed to be posting thumbnails, but this is important. Your Law and Order, yeah, it's really good. I love Law and Order. This is this is important. Then we'll then we'll get back to the actual. Back to the action. <laughs> back to the action. Uh, Look at this little bird here. She's so cute. I'm just a thumbnail of us for you. Just end. Oh, are these all the, no. I'm trying to look at where this 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 franchise. Okay. Law and Order, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, Law and Order Organized Crime. Oh, oh announced. Law and Order Toronto. Criminal what? intent. What do you mean announced? What, what? Meaning it's com it's coming in June 2023. That was oh last no, year. that's when they announced it. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and then they announced the cast. Remember when you said. 2035, thinking it was this year. Yeah. One day. Imagine. Oh, wait. Do I know him? 
People can't see. You know what? You know what? I know I'm, I'm technically not backpack, but here it is. Just in case people care about what we're talking about. About uh, long. kind of thing is that? June 2023. Big plans for that month. Yeah. What kind is that? This is... Oh, do you want to try it, I guess? This is, my, well, I think, maybe my favorite one. Watermelon? No, this is fig apple. Fig apple? Which I don't think I traditionally like fig too much. I like fig. But I think it's because the weird seediness of them. We have a fig tree in our Um. Okay. I'm just waiting for... Huh. McMurray to show up in this show. McMurray's piece of shit. Yeah. Or like Wayne. But not as like just those actors. As that. Yeah, you I want them to be you those want characters. McMurray but like it? you play it as if it's in law and order. So like they still play their characters as their characters. That would be absolutely but ridiculous. It's like in it's because it's filmed in a different context. It doesn't come across the same way, you know? That would be um past series oh there was other ones okay oh criminal intent but then i guess they brought it up i love criminal intent oh no I these are old Vincent ones Nofrio. so criminal intent trial by jury la and true crime in development oh my god hate crimes for the oh, fence whoa there's more <laughs> can't wait to go into exile law and order movie what there was a movie who's in it well, it's the original. It's like a spinoff. I know him. Yeah. He's uh, Chris North. 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 An iced tea. Iced tea. <laughs> I love iced tea. TV special. I was waiting for this, like Christmas special. Video games. Oh, oh no, video. What games. do you think this one looks like? That are. Dead, dead, dead on the money. What is it? Dead on the money. I don't know. Like a game? When? Wait. When like a game? It? Yeah. When was it like released or whatever? Uh, the, 2002. 2002. Oh no. Right. So, so like, what kind of game is that? Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. They really, they went hard. Look at that. Like, I understand. Um, it's 2002, right? But there's there's other ways, right? You you could you could do like you could do the. Uh, oh, Fred. Don't move. I'm not. I don't know where it went. It's to my see. left, like underneath this wheel here. I can't see. Hear it. Oh, there it is. This one. Let's do this one. Ugh. Like, they could have went this route. This is the X-Files game from 1997. Have, like, mm, games acted out? Yeah, it's a choose-your-own-adventure. Well, yeah, so. yeah, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. It's like a fun game. Uh... I'm gonna go uh, back, back to this one. This one, this one, What the? He looks like a crit. Does he have goggles on his hat? Yeah, he's got little goggles on his hat. What's. Kind of... Did you design him? Well, yeah, I drew him in MS Paint. What's wrong with MS Paint? Okay. I made a little gnome. Um, thumbnails, and then cool. Anyway, yeah, I fell asleep too. Oh yeah, that's how we got there. Okay. <laughs> I love how they mention the eleven. Sometimes I just want to fall asleep. 
the TV glow. No. Yeah, I, I, I sometimes always get tired in front of the TV. Yeah. Like it's it's weird. It just changes the way my brain perceives things. <laughs> Pretty much, just like that. Um, let's... I'm gonna just do the city shots because those were pretty. That was a smart choice at the end of that map. Doing, um, having that TV you could use to view at the, the whole city. Ooh. You should get a disk drive for your TV. A disk drive? Yeah, so I can put it in my show if I have PPM. But can you just, like, when you say disk drive, what do you mean disk drive? Where? For music? No, for like shows. Like a DVD player? Yeah. We'd have that. That's... For the TV? Oh, that TV. Yeah. We have that. Do we? Technically, yes. It depends on, like, just for DVD. There's a way, yes. Oh. It's just the PS2. Oh. Yeah. Or the PS3. Well. It's a, yeah. That's pretty new. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just sitting there. Um, oh no. Oh my god. What are you doing, girl? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do. What's the full name of this map? I see that. <laughs> Your little hands are so cold. Yeah, so we're almost on this post. Yeah, did you know we have like the cutest cats in the world? They have their moments, you know. They're like always cute, even when they're not. That boy in them. Why you I'll, I'll do my best. Did you order food? No, that's after I get this done. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to come in and then that law and order thing to happen. That's not a it's not a complaint, it's just you know. Yeah. Did he say it was? Uh, I just need to get the name of this city. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Okay, guys. Nope, that's not what I wanted either. Yeah, I, I forgot to take screenshots during that one. So I ended up uh, 
Well, I, I took like a couple, so that's a lie. Uh, but then, yeah, that, that overview of the city was pretty good. So I think that's a, a good one to post, you know? <clears throat> I guess I should order the pizza. Because I said I was going to do it. And then uh, we'll do part two. I don't. I, I don't want to talk about the thing I saw in part two. That would uh, made me want to go to no clip mode on that one as well. Um. So give me a second here. Maybe we'll do a. Get this open at least. Boom. So that we're going to crack open and look at this guy. This is going to be the the notepad for part two. Um, or at least I should say I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Go over it a minute. No, well, even if I may have done it, because I didn't really fly anywhere. I just flew, I think I flew up a little bit, and then I took a screenshot uh, of the starting court. But technically, I saw that there's more map, you should say. But we'll we'll find out, and I'll tell you. It wouldn't be a huge spoiler if it is. Maybe a little interesting. Um, You can you could tell me how, how good, well, maybe... Uh, it would it gives me Pokemon Gold and Silver vibes, and if somebody reminds me I said that, whenever this uh, thing happens, if it's what I'm thinking, it might be. Um, otherwise, you just mentioning spoiler made me think about it as a bigger thing than it might have been. But anyways, if that happens, whatever this is, I'll explain what that reference is. But I won't remember to say what it is when it happens it's just it's just facts um okay i'm just gonna choose this pizza place no i'm just gonna choose this one I call some of what I do with my reeks Jodo Cantoing. <laughs> okay, well Pokemon Gold and Silver isn't 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 the trick, so okay. We're safe. Okay, order is placed. I'd like to know what the time is, but uh, we're 
this one. Uh, okay, so anyways, another map, part two, Wysense? Wysense? I'm going to butcher that. And I'm... Devs introduced the uh, first game as map at the end of the second. Interesting. Uh, new Duke site, related site, just Facebook. Uh, hit a website? That's pretty cool. Not going to make any promise, but I, right now, I do have a few ideas. Account. Cartridge spaces. I think that Pokemon Gold and Silver, that the game ends. At least I remember the credits rolling. When you beat whatever the gym is and then if you continue on you get that that whole 39 minutes okay give or take uh then you get go to the original one from red spoilers for anybody who wasn't isn't aware of the original pokemon where's my cord Where's my charging cord? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh it was was amazing. I still think there's always more impressive games to me, but I I think that was the more wow factor moments when I was growing up. Was that happening? Because I already felt like I, I had a sequel. So to find this essentially a bonus game, if you want to think about it like that. Because it, it was a whole nother game. It was the best uh, after or what we call it end game content. I, I could probably imagine. Uh, it continues exactly where AP stopped. So that means exploring even more of this big. Oops, a little, little cut off here. Uh, this big world, this time more rough nature, which is actually inspired by Blue Sky's Sea in Austria, even camping knowledge. Okay, they did mention a camper, so I, I was assuming we we're just going to be in a uh, another thing. Did he make a part three? I guess, really, realistically, this came out in 2001. No, so it's 2021, sorry. Um, yeah, it was great. Pokemon, great. Linear and unlinear. Okay, so we're going for a different style here. No hard puzzles. I didn't really, didn't really have puzzles in the last one. I, because I wouldn't say just approaching it differently is puzzles. Understand the Pokemon craze to stay. First series was done. Um, yeah, I see. I I didn't, I did watch the the show a bit, but that's mainly because. As a kid, you just kind of put them on, especially back in the day for like cable cable, where that was your really only choice. I just put on a specific channel that would have stuff and you would just watch whatever's on there, man. And that was one of them. I did play Pokemon. Though. And even, even Pokemon, it's like after the first few games, I've never been able to beat a Pokemon game after that. I like the concept of collecting things, so that that's kind of connects for, for me. Uh, so, like, I collect some cards, for example. Uh, but even then, I, I just get burned out after a while. I do feel like Pokemon just didn't do much. Yeah, they, they were pretty neat. I, I also liked... Because uh, Pokemon caused um, other games to, like, imitate or... So there was Dragon Quest Monsters, I think it was. I, I played a ton out of the second one. I never played the first, but I remember loving the second one. Um, so we got some new custom music. Uh, not only that was you here. Thank you. Oh, long list of mostly... Made for people who thought using super calc was fun. See, I was never into uh, the uh, strat, sorry, stats. That's what you're gonna have for that? Otherwise, graphically, at least the originals, they all look like that.
I'm, a, I'm kind of upset that um, I never figured out how to do like a, a video game on a graph and calculator. Not, not like make one, but um, like when I found out you could, people installed stuff onto them, I'm like, why didn't I do that? That would have made math class way better. Okay, so again, he's saying classic. So we're going to do the classic renderer for this as well. Uh, let me get out of this bad boy here, because that's not the version. I wish I could change the folder for custom content without restarting. Not a huge deal. Like, it's a very minor thing, so. But I, I kind of wish. Um, that would be nice. Mainly because, uh... Oh, cool, cool. My OBS sometimes has weird stuff. I was playing it. It looked like they were still in, in the menus with a bunch of numbers. Yeah. I think... I, I never liked their inventory system. I, th I, I think I still don't. They maybe made it a little bit visually better. I, I think one of them eventually actually showed the backpack. Maybe it's the DS one. I don't know. With a different kind, it's a different kind of game from something like this, for example. I think before it exported into Europe. I remember I liked Emerald. Uh, and I did play the DS one, like the first one, I think, which is whatever that was. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I beat that one too. So maybe up to that is when I, then I started to keter off. Because then they started to feel too samey. And and the, there's, there's not much of a plot. It's a very basic plot, let's be honest. But... I like the concept, and I, I, I'm, it's a shame that I guess there's not a ton that did it differently. Like I'm a, I'm a person that's a huge fan of Digimon World, even though I've never beaten that one either. Just because I'm like, oh, I try to do something different, but it's still kinda. It's, I guess I couldn't really say it's Pokemon. -y. You're not really collecting them, but you kind of can. Uh, yeah. Another attack two. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, by the way. I like I just noticed that I saw the original city. That was it. Which you can see right in the beginning. So that's I already thought that was impressive, but granted. Probably not. Impossibly. Can I jump back? Eight secrets. So we got a little bit more more secrety here. Yeah, Pokemon just, I feel, has the wrong team behind it now. Because one of the things, too, and I'm not going to talk about Pokemon all the time, but is they didn't have, I, I think they stopped, should have stopped just making new monsters. If they, they started running out of time because they're like, we don't have, it, there's just too many monsters. So just make variants, make some variants. And then they started doing that a little bit. Uh, and one of them, what I think maybe Sun and Mood, I'm like, you could have done that way, way sooner. And it would have been... Uh, an easier solution, and you could have focused on actually making the game better. And people wouldn't have cared. They wouldn't have cared. You're still getting some new. Didn't have to be a hundred new ones every single time. That's your fault. That's my Pokemon rant. Rant. Check the pizza time. It's ten. Oh, still, still a while. We're a little behind. So people less social. I like this music. Oh, yeah. It's, uh... I like this setting. It's an interesting setting.
Like, cause we're still getting some kind of some some city elements. Oh, there! I, I remember this Pokemon clicks. Uh, how do I? So I gotta get up here. Hey, there's a babe. Uh, get up here. I do that from here. Okay, so maybe go on there, jump across there, I'm thinking. Or I guess maybe I could go up there. Not sure. NFT is money running a little low. So yeah. That's kind of how it felt after a while. Like, I'm not saying, I, hey, for a Pokemon, they they don't, don't still make some good Pokemon every now and then. Visually, it's just, but they focused on the wrong thing to expand on every game. I guess it's because, you know, they're thinking about it like merchandising with cards and everything, so. Um, let's see what we got here. I like this, uh, these awnings that they're doing here. It's, uh... Okay, so I wonder... So no, liking that vibe. I really like this little campsite area. I want to get up there. So we're not going to get up here from here. We're going, somebody shooting me or trying to, not him, but pick him out. Oh. This little wash station, too. I didn't... Hail to the king, baby. Oh, like this little ramp. I, I, I know it's just a ramp, right? Nothing special, but I, I, I just like these little little design flourishes. Nice little sand castle going on here. Like how he's kind of holding the buckets, I'm assuming. Or he's the one playing, maybe. Uh, there are docos out there. Play explosives from... Yeah, I, I've, I've read some of that stuff too about their development. Where, yeah, it doesn't feel... Like they have enough time to do what they're doing. And that's, uh... That's a shame. Because it makes so much money. Like, you think they would, uh... Let them care more. Not yet. So we're not going in here yet, maybe. Okay, we're not going to go in there, I guess. Yet. Some stuff going on here, but this might open up. Unless I have to blow it up. Feels like that's going to drop down, though. Like that's going to break open, or... Unless I'm supposed to jump over it. No. I feel like that's not the style. That's a lot of sprites. That's a lot of sprites. Why is there so many sprites? What are you using for spy? 
What are we doing here? Oh. Why did you do it this way? Interesting. Okay. So this this whole tree is made out of sprites, not um, sectors. But it looks like it's made out of sectors. Um, but it's not. Like that's that's definitely a sprite tree. That whole tree is just sprites. I'm guessing it's because we're gonna walk across it, and so if they don't use true room over room as a technique, and I guess you wouldn't need to here. You can miss mix mash uh, all these, but the irony is, the way it's constructed still makes me think it's made out of sectors by default. So it's just an. It's one of those things. I'm like, is it meant to be unsuspecting? So I think it's sectors, or did they just like, no, this is this is what I'm. I'm better at this than than the other thing, so I'm going to do this. That's an interesting eye. Uh, change there. I wasn't sure if they were behind or in front. I like these little showers too. Can I jump on that? Yep. Okay, we can go in there. Before I go in there, I want to check out this. Expiry date most of the time. It's true. And like, I get the corporatism of of all products, but at this, it's it's. I don't know. It, it, it's just one of those things. I'm like, you could just make a better thing if you did it differently. And I, I get it. That's not your primary goal. But I feel like you would just, I don't know, you'd be better. <laughs> Let's grab that ammo before I jump anywhere crazy. Save here. Drop down. Yeah, and that's what Pokemon is. Where it's it's just I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. We didn't get to do that last map. If I gotta I don't, I don't wanna kill you, so I'm not I'm not going to. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. Oh, it's poop. I was like... <sighs> is this part two? Yes, this is part two. This is part two. I do like the vibes of this one so far. 
Okay, before I go, uh, I want to go hi, say hi to you. How's it going? Weird way to put... Uh, weird way... What? Weird place is what I'm trying to say. Uh, to put a switch. Why is that sync different? Why is that different? Why are you different? Why are you different? You're just a sprite. Oh. Oh, I guess, yeah. You could, because... But if that's a sector, you could have just put... I wonder why you did it like that. You could have just made that whole thing a light and it would have been fine. Oh, probably... Oh, so you can interact with it and do this? Hmm. Nice little touch. Okay, I take that back. Okay, so the poop is where we're supposed to go. Did I grab those? Yeah, I did. Poop is where we're supposed to go. have time for this, guys. Okay, let's get some health. Do you think this guy's hitting a wall count? Do you think he is? Because they... To, like he he did a, a whole copy of the first part like you could have saved so much walls by just changing this somehow because you could have still had this which you saw at the end of the first one and just had this so this is all you could see and maybe that tower or something right but no he went he went here so i i feel like it's it would be more of an intentional choice than anything but like that would also explain it I'm gonna get health. I thought I forgot one. Maybe I did not. Okay, so this is my end goal. I wanna get on here, run across here, do this. Maybe even a tree. Oh, there's a few. I wonder if we're going for uh having the scenery in. He um and that's why the atomic health would be down there. So if I broke through and got through, I'd grab the atomic health and be better off, but I grabbed it earlier. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm walking into them, I'm trying to catch them with my mouth. That's not how you do this. Um, he. Uh, I also feel like we're going with more of a. I don't want to say tell a story, but like with with the these captured babes and trees and stuff, and the fact that we're camping. I don't know. I feel like I, I'm getting more of a a level plot, if, which is interesting little kiosks okay so this is how we can get to that oh well, let's grab the chain gun what am i doing yeah let's grab this and get going so we're gonna go here we're not gonna talk to these guys i don't i wonder if this is the intentional way You know what? We'll do this first. We're not. Or not. Uh, 
we're gonna have to do this. Ice Ice Baby one? Oh, I'm gonna go look at the ice machine. I wasn't paying attention. I did like the little text references uh, he had in the first one. So if he adds more of that, that's pretty cool. This pizza's progress, just in case. 17 minutes. Watch there be like a ton of... I, and we're going to go get... Well, no, this is still better. Like, the first one, because it starts very open. Um, not a criticism, right? It's just, it's doing something different. Actually, can I jump back out of here? Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm probably going to lose all my health for this. Actually, no. The Octobrains are dead. There's like a secret in there. Oh, even this is, uh, yeah, I'm paying attention. Oh, yeah, Ice Ice Baby. I want to see that. Is that over here? Oh, no, that's up there. That's a good reference. Okay, back to what I was doing. Yeah, Classic Renderer does mess up my platforming abilities a little bit. Dang, this wasn't the way. They're both comp complimentary. Yeah, they're just different. They're different in style. What am I doing? And so far, it looks like we're going to have more uh, enemy variety. That should have killed you. I see a problem right there. Wasn't there? Uh, it's a classic rendering again, uh, to where the others now feel weird. I've I've never actually. Maybe it's because I grew up on it too. So uh, classic render doesn't bother to be too much. I do like uh, having the new perspective perspective options, so it's a little bit more accurate, especially for platforming. Like doing this part, normally. Uh, it feels like I just step off and I'm going to land on this, but not quite. Um, so that stuff kind of messes me up a little bit, but the view itself looking up and down hasn't bothered me too much. Get to the chopper.
I wonder if we're going to get more doors. I feel like we had one working door. In the, uh... What the fuck? Ah. Almost slipped by me. Okay, I'm going to go in there in a minute. DJ, old lordy. Octo's away from my show. They are way too curious. Stealing, destroying my precious firework. DJ. What? What is happening? Oh, can I blow? I wonder if I blow these up. I'm not going to right now. Wow. Okay, more water. Not exactly sure what this is supposed to be. So I I know I want to go on there and go across. But first we're going to Take a peek around here. Uh, maybe, can we unlock this from this side, or is that a somewhere else problem? Let's do inside here. Pretty sure that's going to be. I guess we could maybe do. Could we do this? Oh, he's, he's doing that. Well, I guess maybe here. No. Smart. this way first. Okay. Never mind. This feels like it already has way more detail in it than the last map. Like, the last one was more loose with its design, where this one feels more... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna... That's what I'm saying. It looks more... It just feels more detailed. What's with these alien attacks coming from Wurdishro? Uh, I thought Duke killed them once and for all. I even saw a big alien spaceship flying over the river. I have a bad feeling about this. Interesting. And that's a Star Wars reference. Or Easter egg, would you call it? Is it? What point is a reference an Easter egg, you know? Uh, more focused streamlined? Yeah, that, I guess focus might be it.
Okay, so now the force field's gone. Okay, force field's gone. Just double checking before we go upstairs. Look like that. Oh. Okay, give me two seconds, guys. I'm just going to grab the pizza. Two seconds here. back i'm gonna quickly absorb this pizza though i just i have like one and a half slice i have to slice all that um before things get too too hectic just a basic cheese pizza today I don't actually remember the last time I ordered just a few cheese pizza. Um, I was like, you know what? Why not? Other maps.
You want? Just while I'm eating uh, this, I want to do this. I can, I can move around. I don't think there's going to be much else to uh, see. But, uh, this is this is just the first map in uh, Mapster Thirty Two. Just because sometimes it's slow to move around, so I didn't know if maybe there's something way off in the distance that we missed. I don't know. Looks like we got it all. wild. And how it scales up compared to Peru. This map didn't feel really that big though. Like it was like a big map. But it's it's kind of like I feel like this is probably the same size as Winterfall. Like, if we were to make a... That's not what I want. If we were to do a unit of measurement. Wall limit reached. Wow, we did hit a wall limit. I was on a walk and I try to watch like other Duke Nukem content on YouTube sometimes to try to somehow use my paid membership to, to help support people um, and, and just maybe learn some new Duke stuff, right? So I was thinking about Peru map the other day where I'm like, okay, how did it not hit a wall in it? Just because of the size of it. Um, especially when I, I play other maps and I'm like, okay, so like this hit a wall limit, but Peru doesn't hit a wall limit. Because um, I guess, yeah, there's a lot of area that's just just a giant square of probably plain terrain. But you're, you still have that, the, there's that little city section. There's the, um, uh, the soccer field, which I, I really liked. So I still feel like there's a lot of detail work in there. And then there's the railway. And then there's the whole ruin section. So yeah, that's, there's so many different sections in that Peru map. That you... Yeah. 
Then there's an unnecessary section. But yeah, I, I wish I could just do a measuring tape, right? Just a giant measuring tape. So, because, but if we do. I wish I could just draw something. Because if we load Winterfall. Uh, do we not have that on here? Station Colossus. Maybe it's in my other one. Don't ask why I have like a thousand different. Uh, Eduke stuff. I guess when I guess Winterfall is smaller, but it's still pretty big. Snack here. Okay. That one's ready. Like, maybe there's nothing up here. Which, like, it's still cool that they did it. I have a little sprite top here. So maybe I have to just go back underwater. Got little crumbs everywhere. Oh, this is supposed to be the DJ, so they're just keeping the sound ambience here. So, uh, yeah. Can't get out this way, because it's not really there. I wonder why there's, like, a little bit of light there. Oh, I guess that's what that hole is, but... I don't have any night vision to see if there's something here. Sec. I don't know if this is going to be considered cheating, but just for two seconds here. I'm gonna... What am I doing? What am I doing? OK, 
Okay, nothing. Every once in a while, I just never know if it's uh, just me who can't see stuff, so. Just use walls willy-nilly, given the sector limit gets hit, hit way earlier in DOS land. Could me up ever come back to mapping for the ports? Until they just raise it. Just keep raising that limit. Which, hey, if they can, I'm never against that stuff. Just for fun. Okay, so this would be where we want to go next. I don't think there's... Is there anything we want to get from... Reach the first thousand. <laughs> That's how I felt. I didn't actually know. I've never hit the wall limit because I've never finished anything. Uh, but. Interesting. Uh, but even I did. I had no idea there was a wall limit, so I just got. I, I sometimes go a little crazy. I guess, I, would I be jumping across there? I don't think there's anything actually on there. <coughs> uh, the night vision goggle thing is kind of throwing me off. Unless it's just, just to make you think of binoculars. I don't want to jump off there. I don't want to try blowing that up either. It's just, I'm still thinking about this. There's the blue key card, so maybe that's how. We'll go we'll go deal with this. We'll deal with this. Oh. Interesting, okay. Mapping, I didn't know there was a limit until I hit some so it's probably the castle map. Yeah, I had no idea. So somebody, uh, like, I started uh, asking about sector limits so that I could look at them. And that's when I was like, oh, atomic health. I wonder if that means there's atomic health on top or if that's just for design, you know? Interesting that I can see that little artifact right here. I wonder why that is. Like, what, what is that? Like, it's this, but why? That's behind uh, the pizza joint. It's not very apparent. And the fence. Well, I, I'm going to do it here, I'm assuming. But I'm just thinking about uh, something else first. Interesting. That one's not uh, interactable. Like, do I want to try to blow... You know what? We're going to save and see. Can this blow up? Yeah. Okay. Something else is going to happen with that. Yeah. But what I'm referring to is it looks like I can do... Jump up here. Oh, I can't. He's invisible walled this. 
So there's probably nothing actually up there. Uh, if there is, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything up here. Okay. Just we have no no secrets yet. So I'm just expecting Became relevant. What other weapons do I have? I don't know what I want here. I don't think I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here, am I? <laughs> that man carried me up here. I wanna go back down. Okay. Okay. So you come over here for this atomic health, just for that to blow up. So it's like intentional that you come over there. There's no real purpose other than Duke nuke there. Duke knew there was an atomic health there that he really wanted. Remember that there's ammo we didn't have. Assuming that's where we're supposed to be. Oh, I remember seeing this from the screenshot, this blue thing. Okay, I guess we'll see what water we can go through first. Yeah, I like this room. The, um, because the first map, too, I felt had, uh, very limited use of lighting. Not that it wasn't there, but it was very static lighting, right? So you didn't have stuff like even like this, which, yeah, that's a sprite that's making that, but. Does that make sense? Do, do I make sense? And that's, for me, it's not necessarily I'm throwing shade at the map. There seems to be like a, a definite change. Maybe it's because this room is just so different from anything in the first map. I like it. 
Very strange to have a key card in here. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, not in a bad way at all. No, it's just, it's just, uh... It's just a different, a different choice. I guess I could kick. What am I doing? Not a secret still. Okay, so no secrets. No secrets. Uh, this has more distinct set pieces, for sure. Very noticeable. Yeah, the, the, the first map being so open from the very beginning um, definitely sets a different kind of tone. Where this one, because of how uh, not necessarily linear, definitely not as open as the first map, but maybe it's going to open up in some other areas as well. Because it said a, a mixture of linear and open. But I think maybe that's a better way to go about it for my my personal choice is maybe start a little linear open up to bigger and then you can kind of funnel off and connect little pieces or hubs maybe okay so let's go through Wish I had some uh, night vision goggles. Cause we got that. We got a sprite that's in the wall. What am I looking at? Why, why do I see something there? Or is that just a trick? I'm not going to stay this way, obviously. I just... Oh, hopefully I saved not far back. I'm pretty sure I just saved, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'm okay if something's supposed to be dark intentionally. Um... So I don't really have an issue. I'm just always afraid that I can. It's I just personally am having uh, darkness issues and can't see a thing myself. But I'm supposed to see something. Okay, that's that's not. Oh, that one. Uh, that one took me. That one took me.
That one sprite in the wall is still bothering me. And maybe it's because the first one was so open, that's why uh, the detailing he chose is what he did, because that's really the, the best it could do with the wall limit. Where this one, you could see he definitely added more character to each section, like even these little slime batches there, I'm trying not to get too far ahead activate so many guys. I want a chain gun. I don't want to pick up that because I know once I grab that key card something something's gonna happen. Oh this is cool. Where am I? Red key card. Oh oh cool. So we're gonna see a section of the map we're going to eventually go to, or right now. That was my fault. That was my fault. I saw that little corner piece, and I, I swear, I, I was like, well, maybe it's one of those transparent textures for a secret. thinking about something being behind here as well and I'm like no it's too cliche take that in the face In case. Save. Okay. Blue key card. Okay, so we got a rocket launcher and something over there. I bet it maybe that's a secret. Oh, maybe this doesn't work yet, and we're going to come back here. I, I thought I could shoot through that. I'm glad I couldn't, because that's a little thick for a gate. But I can shoot through this, right? Why? That's not necessary. him out. So now the question becomes, can I... This feels like it's maybe going to open up. Okay, so I like that I'm not actually going there now. Is it going to be not not that's bad? I'm a little disappointed if I uh, went down that elevator because I, I I do like the idea of very reminiscent of like old school dooms showing something and then you'll get there eventually. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at that. There's a little train. I saw a train. I saw a little train go across. Or even if that's a truck, I'm also okay with that.
Okay, I'm gonna assume we're gonna have to go back. Because that's not working. Oh yeah, the key card's back there. Um, I'm an idiot. Interesting. Interesting. Like, even stuff like just just this little thing, which he did have in the other one. Let's save it. I, I don't want to... Okay, I see something down there. Is that the first map I'm supposed to be looking at? I, if not, I, I also like... I bet yeah. Okay, so we're actually seeing the other area. I was wondering if this is maybe like a miniature that somebody built. I don't know if you're doing that for just aesthetics to make it look like... Uh... I'm gonna do something a little little ballsy here. see if I can get in there. I know I could no clip there. We want to Oh. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, jeez. It doesn't look like there's anything in there anyways. So We're just going to we're, we're going to kill. Him. How do we want to kill him? Why does our pizza look like that? It's just cheese. Oh, it looks so weird. Yeah, it's just cheese pizza. I was like, oh, it's just cheese. Really? You didn't get any meat from it? No, just cheese. I was watching a lot of the, the guy who like just eats pizza and reviews it. And he only gets cheese pizza. That's like his favorite. It's like just, it, he, it's less, I don't know heavy for him, he says, so he could eat more. But for me, it was just like, it's also the cheapest. It's 
change it up a little bit, you know? I still feel like I'm missing something in it. Oh, well, I guess I should grab some health. Oh, there's, uh... I want to grab more health. Because we had the health that's back there. So let's quickly grab that. And then we'll, um... Oh, we grabbed it. Hard to find a good pizza. Uh, they never put enough cheese on the damn thing. I feel I'm one of those people. I'm like you. You just need to have a good ratio of everything, whatever it happens to be, right? I want a. I want a good layer of sauce because I've had some stuff where it's like they nail the toppings, but then the, if there's no sauce, I, I. That's that's the thing that's kind of distinct to me is your pizza sauce. I guess maybe your dough a little bit, but otherwise it's like cheese is cheese, so pepperoni is a pepperoni. Yeah, but so. It's the sauce, but I also don't like a lot of sauce. I, could, I still, I just want it to complement the ingredients. I don't want my pizza to fall apart. I just remember there's a health kit there, and I don't think I uh, used it yet. can go down there. There's so many places by me that do two for one pizzas. Uh, much better. Nice. Nice use of it. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go over here. What? Frozen square things that could be microwaved? Weirdly pieces from a Greek place. Just a piece of soggy dough. So I'm gonna like, I, there's like so many good pizza places by me. Uh, but like, I'm, I'm, while I do enjoy pizza, um, maybe it's because I've eaten so much of it in my life. It's just like, it's just a good food, and for takeout, I get a ton of it compared to like other fast food places. Like if I go to McDonald's, what was it like? We had McDonald's the other day and it was like 30 bucks or something. And this is Canadian and that that's for two people. So you get a meal, fine. But then for 30 bucks, I get like multiple pizzas. And sometimes depending on the combo, like drinks and your dips. So that lasts me days for the same price. I thought he turned himself green. Okay, so this is the water slide that we could have taken. So it's all looping back. Which makes me wonder... Okay, I'm not going to go this way just yet. Just say, I'll, I'll explain my thought process. Right, yeah. Okay, so it's like, I feel like I could jump across there. Which I might try. I like that boat with that. And there's more movement here in the scenery as well. Like the last one had a lot of boats, but none of them were moving. And I, that would have been cool. Um, so what I want to try to do is I'm going to go back to... Um, the... 
water here. And I want to see, like, can I get across there? Oh, I can't actually slide. I thought, dang, I thought I could get down there. Okay. Thought I was being smart. It's not. Okay, so now, jump across here. Secret area, nice. So let's save in the secret here. And that's how we get out. Leads back in. Okay, now we have access back here. I like it, I like it. Cheaper and cooler to make my own stuff again. Why it's... I do, like, it's kind of weird. I, I do like cooking. And, uh... But it also depends on, like, mood. Like, yesterday I made, uh pasta and that's fun and i did it after work but then there's some days after work i'm so like exhausted just can't and it's not even like physically exhausted because I, I do a desk job but the type of work i do can be mentally exhausting and it just it, it's amazing how much that tires me out sometimes <clears throat> super snack none of these are something i can jump on so i can't jump on top and jump on top of there So, what is... But I have to be able to go on top of there because there's some some expander ammo there. Oh, now this is unlocked. Okay. So there's got to be a way. Jump on top of... Wow, I can't even get on top of there? Interesting. Interesting. Uh, is there any health that we were missing back here? No. Okay, before we go this way, let's go this way. Oh, that's that's where the red key card is. You know what? Let's, <coughs> let's clean this out first. Interesting choice. That that's what it is. You got sometimes it, it's it's the weight as well that can kill. Hmm. Um, stay there. This is a terrible strategy, by the way. Terrible strategy. Well, how'd you get out? How'd you get out? <laughs> oh no, we lost a pig. So that's helping. <laughs> Good thing. 
Maybe these areas. Yeah, I see that. Okay. This is broken just so you can't jump up there. The solution seems to be these. No. Like, this seems like I... There's a way easier way to get on it. Well, I don't know why I'm not just trying to go. Oh, hi. I see that battle lord. <laughs> Rabbit versus nuke. Yeah. Well, the trip mines were for the uh, were for the pig cops, not the not the tanks. I'm just trying to use those, those trip mines. I'm trying to find a good use for them. No. Oh, we're back up here, though. Okay, well. Way to go. I'll look on top of here. Doesn't look like there's anything there. And now we got a second chance at life. Here's what we'll do. Take care of these guys. That was some explosive range. Let's save here. I think we're doing way better this run. There's no health or anything that I missed right there. No. Solid snake, this. Took one for the team. You jinxed it once you said damage -less. I just, you know, just couldn't, couldn't handle that pressure. I wonder if this is going to open up, or if it's just so I can see in here, but 
Looks like there might be some weapons down there. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's just this. We'll find out la la Hey, Dara. Yeah, I want to get up here. Tomic health that. I feel like I still want more health, though, as well. Before I grab that. That glass texture? Where are you seeing it? Which one are you referring to? This? It's not getting. Like, it's supposed to be a divider. If this is the one you're talking about. I think if, uh, I, if I, I would add one sprite in between as a little barrier. There's on the beach, little beach thing. This is supposed to be like um, seashells, I'm assuming, or like little pebbles. Yeah, yeah, like that's what that's supposed to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to be like little seashells or pebbles. We have these uh, where I am, like usually by lakes. I'm saying that in case people aren't by beaches that have stuff like that because <laughs> I, I don't know what the rest of the world actually looks like okay so we'll get this expander ammo i don't know if i want to do that yet Glad I did this. Glad I did this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, you do have broken glass, but not that much. Yeah, it's definitely supposed to be, I'm pretty sure, like little little clams or seashells. They're 90% of my beaches, uh, or like the beaches by my house are just seashells. Like a resort to the uh, good old... Uh, drinking from the toilet strategy and I can at least get uh, that atomic health and then the red key card I thought maybe that devastator would be a secret the way they were kind of advertising it I'm pretty sure I can't jump on top of that uh, green bar maybe I can but it feels like that wood panel is going to drop if we're supposed to go into that other area. Generally muddy.
Okay, got that. I don't think I need that, yeah. Now we'll save. I see that rocket launcher, so that makes me feel like I could jump on there. So how would I get that? See that? Like, that's right. Can't jump up there. I don't think this is it. This doesn't seem like the solution. Maybe that was the solution. Feels like there's probably gonna be it'd be a, like a crack. Nope. I'm gonna assume I did it right then. I didn't even see you. I didn't even see you. I was shooting at your friend up there and you taking it like a champ. Why does everything look suspicious to me? I'm, I'm doubting myself and thinking that there's hidden secrets everywhere. Uh, okay, let's golf. Oh, nice. We're golfing. Oh, it's mini golf. Okay. Where'd he go? Isn't there like something bad that can happen if these guys go out of bounds? It's cool. I, I really wish uh, there's a way to actually make this mean something. In uh, default Duke. This is the one, one of those ones where it's like, uh, yeah, drops down. Okay. Something's going to happen here. Rotten. 
Let's do this. Oh, oh, didn't know there's a hole here. Okay, give me a second. Pigs are in the trough. They're in the trough. In the, or they would. Well, they, they went in, didn't it? Unless you're telling me there's like some kind of secret reward I'm missing because of that, then yes, that would suck. But like, yeah, isn't it? Oh, never mind. You're right. That one did though. This one went in. For sure, that one went in. Okay, what do we got going on here? Quite poetic. I think it's I think it's well laid out. Okay, maybe that's just for visuals, that thing up here. But like, uh, I just think there's something up there, though. We went all the way up here. No. So now that's down. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen like an orange tile on a map before, like or, or brown, whatever that color is. A few days ago, Avenge, everything still seemed peaceful. The first alien attacks at uh, Worcestershire, Woodrusham, yep, are spreading fast. I do believe I saw some coming out of a castle called Slot Lavastein. Uh, Lavastein. There's no small R in there. Which is next to our big river. I also heard... I wonder if that's the one we saw on the first map as well. Uh, I heard a very bad weather coming this way. This is bad. Interesting. Weather. Are we going to get inventive with weather? Why is that there? Is there a battle lord here? Nice. Oh, I guess I could have dr driven that up and then ran across instead of jumping through there either. I can go through the trough. So I'm guessing there's nothing in here. 
did that, did that. It's weird that this one... Oh, it's just that. thing I, I just commented on. Interesting that this one is not sprited. That one is. Oh, probably because of the texture they used. Don't think there's like an atomic health or something up there. As I feel like I would see it. Here's the bridge we saw. We did see this. Granted, it was just a, a flat sprite at the time. Oh, and I need a yellow key card. Okay. Okay. Oh, that opened this. We've got the Devastator, okay. Save just to be cautious. There's a ton of the first map in here. Okay. Really wonder. Okay, I can't get up there, so the only thing was this yellow key card. Is that, uh... if I'm missing uh can't get up there probably nothing up there I think good we're good got half the secrets so far Yeah, because of that, right? I was like, I wonder how much of that is uh, is left. Is real? Is a real boy? I definitely, still feel like I'm missing something back here. But whatever. We're gonna we're gonna go across. Cause like, hey, you wanna talk about wall limits? Look at that wall limit right there. I think having the the flow of some nature stuff, a lot more indoor areas, and then now it looks like a, even at least a more of a a little city map akin to the first map. 
that variety really does change the uh, the feels of this map. Okay, that's invisible wall. That's an asshole. No items for my inventory yet either. Okay. Go through here. Oh, I say that as there's uh, items right there. What's that little little bus thing? That's cool. Warning, biggest rain thunderstorm ever is coming. Stay inside. Interesting. Interesting. I like the implications that are happening here. I'm not trying to activate those guys yet. Still trying to get through here. Interesting that that's there. This is there. Okay, and this is use he's using to block. So I can't get on top of there. I'm assuming I'm not supposed to jump across there. Uh, was this a secret? I think I saw my secret counter go up. Yeah, I did. Uh, you once said you wanted to train around your map. Oh, yes. It was that one in the uh, Duke Plus one. Leg. Uh oh, something's gonna happen there too, I bet. So that's just a uh, just layered down. And there's nothing on top of there, I imagine. So we'll go inside here. I'm standing on his blood. They were confused. Zoom in here. Like, nice little contrast. Like, I like the shading here. Nice placement of. Uh, I'm assuming. Like, I'm assuming this isn't. It could be a sprite. So this definitely could be a sprite. But these ones seem more sectory.
I like this. Reminds me of a, there's a, an old screenshot of Duke Nukem Advance when they were uh, testing it and they had reflective water in it. Now, knowing that game runs at like 12 frames a second, I can understand why they took it out, but it'd be cool if it, if it was still in there. Little action figures. Always love this. I don't know if that's a reference. Teeth Rex. I get that reference based on what everybody's told me. I see that switch, by the way. I'm just, uh, just before I flip it, I'm just pondering. Did I not hit the one that was up top? Maybe there's another one. This looks ominous. Very ominous. It's like a lot of ammo. Someone behind him that would hit. Now I'm gonna try. nothing hopefully never want to like break an item where it's required to get to a secret i mentioned this in the past i don't know if they fixed it i just remember it was in one of them where it's like there's an item in ion fury i think it's like a broom or a mop and you can use it to get to a secret by pushing it and jumping on top which is a little like convoluted it's not as as easy readable or because why would i think i could jump on a mop and stand on it um other than it's a game you think you can do um but you can break the mop and then you have no way of getting into the secret if i recall and uh that's that's uh my fear ever since then is that'll happen in another map That was my fault. That was also my fault. But for completely different reasons, really. That was lucky. I did not take damage. Uh, what do I want? I want this.
Nice little city area so far. Oh god. Wow, thank you. That was so kind. I have asked for a nicer friend. Jesus. Don't want to use my, uh, Yet. I wonder if there's health. Save here instead. Water parts, nice. Oh, anatomic health, beautiful, beautiful. At least it's not toilet water this time. We've upgraded. Higher quality H2O. That filtered water. Save. Okay, so town hall. It's an RPG there. That's interesting. Oh, is this showing me where the switches are? So there's quite a few more, quite a few more. Poop, now we're here. One long bridge is that. It's true. This, this has been a, a journey. Could have done better. We could have done better. Let's be honest. That's cool. That little blown up building. I like that. I like that a lot. Even these little backyards. Nice, quaint.
Okay. Is there anything over there? No, that's where we came in. I guess we can get on top of here, though. Maybe on top of there. Save. That, do you see that? I see a little blue here. I can't tell if that's an atomic health or a trap. Maybe both. But Duke had been stinking the next 90 minutes. Yeah. Well, we were wading through the... We went to the lake. Like, we did other things. Involving water. Okay, so that exists so we can jump on top of there. Here. Now, I probably need this to get on top of that, I'm thinking. Probably not. There's probably going to be a very easy way to get it on top of here or on top of that. This feels intentional. And I need to stop falling. Okay. Oh, thank God I didn't really want you to drink. I don't want to have to jump up here. Yeah, we did dip into the sea. Okay, this is a secret. Okay. Yeah, that's a secret right there. Nice. That's an interesting way to do a secret. Maybe that's going to be like more visible later on. We'll find out, I guess, because we're going to do it right now. Oh, hello. Explosions, but I don't know where they're coming from. Nice use of reusing the city, though, especially if it's it, even if it's just those things coming through. So, granted, plot hole, the force fields back up. Unless, oh, actually, no, something weird's happening. Because I see that there too. That's a weird looking texture. Something's building up here. Nice little switch hunt. Don't know why I did that.
I don't think that would make a difference. I don't think I'd be able to land on top there. See that little fenced off area? I wonder if that's uh, a place we're going to be able to go. Even this looks suspicious. Just think of maybe we should recharge on um, ammo here. Now save. stock on my uh, expander ammo since we know where some is so might as well Last one or not. I'm going to forget I even have it and not even use it. Probably don't even need to jump. we have this though so it doesn't really matter if we take damage still have health up here or somewhere oh back there we have health so we're good we're good uh, let's grab that health actually oh maybe we don't oh, we did We have that, but I'm not going to waste my time. Got a lot of chain gun ammo lying around here, so... There's one right... Oh, there's some back here, actually. Shooting me? What do we want to tackle this problem? Oh, 
Oh, those did blow up. I knew something was gonna happen with those guys. Oh, my God. Sounds like there's one over there. That's cool, though. That's not cool. It's not cool, guys. What just happened was cool. It's painful. Who turns up in the music? I keep thinking. Oh my god. We're doing good. There's a part in it where I, I, I think it, for this music that I, I feel like I hear like birds chirping or something. Tell me this was the way I was supposed to go? Three, four, five. Oh yeah, I forgot all about the red key card. I forgot we're supposed to find this red key card. Uh, would have been funny if uh, jumping off the roof onto the trampoline would just 
yeet Duke Omega High. I, I was kind of hoping when I saw the trampoline in the last level that it was going to do something. I see that guy. What the f What? Guys. I don't think this is supposed to happen. Why, why am I able to do this? I don't think you're supposed to be able to interact with this little guy. I thought this was for sure a secret, though. So I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm pressing the use key. Hmm. Is there anything else back here? I want to see if I can run. It is interesting that it does that. Definitely not intentional, for sure. But interesting, nonetheless. Paired up with a door effect, which is uh, common. Yeah, we can definitely, it's probably how they did that, the collapse. This being broken, like, it could be just a detailing thing, but it still feels unusual to me. But, it, like, once I get up there, I wouldn't be high enough to jump on anything, so I don't know what it would be. So I know the red door is that one, but what are, what are you? You're blue? Oh no, you're just not open yet. By all means, very rudimentary to me. Yeah, I'll be... Candle. I was like, what?
Is this the end of the level? Don't want to necessarily go here if this is the end of the level because I'm missing one secret and I feel like I can figure this out. Huh. Okay, I'm not, I'm not. Let me go back in here for a second. Okay, before I do this. I wonder what I'm missing. Let's think about this through. Got that, got that. Got that. I feel it was probably something back here um, in the, cause I don't, I don't feel it's in this section. I don't think it's up there. I don't think it's there. And uh, I don't think it's there either. This one's throwing, throwing me off cause it looks like somewhere I can I guess not. Do I get steroids? That'd be cool. It's not something on there. Pizza place or camping site, maybe, right? Because it's not that. It wouldn't be that. I thought it might have been that. So this was an invisible wall, so we couldn't get over there. I want to try getting over here means nothing. That was nothing. The only one I thought of is if we jumped over here, would this be one? No. So that's not one. We got that one back there. Got that one back there. Show map. I feel like I went through there, went through there. Got that, got that. Sprite was nothing, it seems. Like, I know something in here popped open, but I, I don't know if that was just a... Um...
Right here. Why is it like that? Weird. That ended up being nothing. There is no way up here. No way up here. Man, I was just doing so well. Doesn't look like it's anything there, anything there. Got that. There's a tiny passage there, but I'm pretty sure that's just a see through. Yeah, because you can look through there. there. So I guess we'll check the red unless it is in the pizza place I guess. Yeah we'll look in the pizza place. Doesn't look like anything's there either. Because this is just sprites, right? Yeah. Okay, off we go, I guess. Off we go to... Uh, red key. That. What? Where'd you guys come from? But it feels like if it would be like the only one I, I, I said I was questioning really was this because this looks like like it was supposed to kind of climb up here and I would get on here. But that doesn't mean anything.
Yeah, that switch is um that's to get access to the to the room. To that thing. Not this. Nothing on this boat. There's nothing on here. Nothing over here. There's nothing actually on here. Like there's a t there's some stuff that's interesting from a no clip perspective, for sure, but it's wild that I I can't even see where it would be unless it is like go across to the beaten path. It could be some random ledge. I thought like this would be one, right? But it's not. And it's not that. It's not that water. It's not that. I'm just so close to 100 secrets. I just want to, 100%, I just want to know. I just want to know. And I bet you it is. Just like something, something here. This is where I was trying to check originally. Not that, not that. There's, there's no way in there. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Wild. Wild. I'll just quickly check these buildings again. I thought it would be something in here, to be honest. You're gonna be like, oh, this is a secret because you, you forgot a, a, a key card or a piece of ammo. Man, I thought this was gonna be more too. Oh well, I guess I guess it's just fate. We're we're not we're not allowed to succeed today. Not allowed to find all the secrets. Wild. It's 
It's like maybe I didn't trigger that or didn't trigger this or whatever. Well, hide secrets, the temptation is there. It's just about to tag up. To not likely be triggered. The tall trees, that's unexplored, that corner, maybe. Drive people insane. Right? Like, this is still so suspicious to me that this is built like this. Um... But maybe not. Like maybe it's maybe it's just us. And I was thinking this would have been would be, would have been one. Or, I guess I didn't try this. Oh, and I thought like something would happen here. That's not the case. Nothing happened there. Uh, and. Nothing's happening on that goal bus. Spots the player wouldn't likely walk on. The, the secret is that you found it. Not that it's actually useful in any way. I thought it was going to be like you had to walk across this. Like this felt like so appropriate um, for doing that. Like these people have nothing behind them. But I thought maybe that would be it. But it's not. It's wild. Wild. Here, give, me, give me one second here. Let me see if I can... See if I can find it. Found that one. Christmas. Found that one. Okay. Oh. 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 I thought about this too, but I didn't go back to check. Okay, I, here's where it is. Here's where it is. Okay. It's, uh... It's over here. It's over here. I don't know what turns it on, though. It's this, right here. How did he turn it on, though? Radar save of the day. I still don't know how it activated, though. What did he do? Oh, switch to open. Oh, there it is. Wow. Wow. Look at this. And then you, so you hit that. And then you go up here, and then you go up here, 
And then you go up there. And then you have all this stuff. And then this opens up this, so you can go up, go through here as well. He even did say, like, check every, every corner. So that's, that's, that's my fault for not really reading into that read me. Um, okay, so now that we have that out of the way, let's, let's de-enclip this. Let, let's look around, because, so the only thing is I thought a storm was actually going to come. Uh, I, a storm did not come. I guess in a way it did, but because there's that thing, but I thought an actual storm was going to happen. Um, so this is this dude. He's going to come across now. And it's just like a little bus. And he's going to run around a little path here. Uh, did you miss the train, Rolfel? And he's going to take a long path, so it's not as common that he's just spinning through. It's only every once in a while. That's nice. Nice idea to do that. Let's go visit this pirate flag. Thought that was weird, but okay. That switch, but never realized what it opened. Now you know. Secret. Man, even stuff like this is always weird to me. How much more time will you be streaming tonight? Pre this, this is pretty much it. We've been doing uh, uh, seven hours. Um, actually, to be like, how how long do you think your map is? You, you said this one was the hardest. The, your next map. Because I, I there's a I, I guess I'll I'll talk about. Because then we can at least plan out maybe next stream after that I no clip this and I'll <laughs> I'll go over what my plan is. This was the real mystery. So this is the same from before. So it, I bet yeah, he it just copy and pasted everything. He did. Because there's, there's even enemies. Yep, still got the yellow key card there. So this is where, like, I was like, oh, maybe we'll come back because there's, like, some changes. That will probably be the longest of the three Super Mario I've released. It's good to know and I'll, I'll tell you what we'll do i'll explain what we'll do what did he change this maybe some weird door switch sound there i'm kind of shocked how much of this um he kept Some random med kit. Uh, which are nastier than the one? Oh god! I and it's I still don't understand why the one from Big Booze really messed me up because I did know the combination. I knew it. It's just for some reason I just kept not doing it. Um. Which is ever so frustrating. 
it's so fascinating how uh, how much of this was reused. This seems like a lot. And what's what, what are those insides? We got there's the bathroom. There's that, and there's the yeah. So we've been all there. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's 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 a weirdly astonishing amount of it. It was reused, considering this was already like the map, the the sector or not sector wall limit before, to just reuse so much of it. Um, because this this definitely wasn't a longer map part two, but it felt it felt like I did more in it. Uh, I guess we'll look at this guy too. And so there's no, right now there's no part three to this, right? So there's uh, like he didn't he didn't make a sequel to this. And then we'll check over in, in this little house area too. But I don't think there's anything right here either. That's pretty much it right now. That's cool. That was a great map. That was a great duo. I, I definitely think I like the second one more. Um, so here's what we'll do. I'll flip over. We'll talk about what we'll do maybe next week here uh, for you guys. So I don't think we'll do um, necessarily still work in progress. So plans for a part three. So I think what we'll do for next week um, is... We'll, we'll instead of focusing on like a specific target or uh, theme, we'll do just a couple uh, of older and newer maps that uh, we had in our backlog. So just so I don't force myself to do it today and then I'll die because um, I want to make sure I'm 100% I'm focused on it. Give me a second here. Flip those over. Actually, you know what? Let's do this too. Um, so this was Radar's video, just so, it, like, pretty much everybody here knows who Radar is, but, um, ooh, I guess I should have been Um, but he tends to do 100% completion of user maps, so if, like, because I don't always get the secrets or spend so long on <laughs> trying to figure them out, but if I, uh, just that one secret. I'm like, I, I got, I was so good for all those maps that I, I just, I just needed to. Uh, but yeah, so if you ever get stumped on a user map and want to find all the secrets, usually Radar has one. So yeah, shout out to Radar. Uh, but for uh, next week, uh, I don't have a picture of it here. So uh, Toilet Duck, what we'll do is we'll do your wet dry world next week for sure. Um, that's kind of why I'll do a variety stream so we can get through that one. So we'll do that one. We had just pissed. Was it was that what it's called? I'm assuming. The last pissed time was that it? Was that it? I'm assuming this is it. And if this is it, because uh, we, we were we were talking about the ones for um um when we talk about winter to get some more of a winter theme so we had a few of those still left on the on the docket and then uh the new releases kind of came so we ended up having uh the shrapnel cities 
96. Yeah, so we'll do that. So we'll do Wet Dry World for sure. Then we'll do Last Piss Time. I don't know how long those two will be. Um, but even if Wet Dry World's the hardest, really the puzzle ones will be the most difficult. But hopefully hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll come to terms and understand it. Um, and depending on that, we had a, we had another one as well picked out, but we'll do just a, a little variety pack unless something comes up because uh, in the interim where I'm, I get stumped on something I'm working on and then I might flip to a map that I think might be kind of cool to look at for that. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. So we'll do Wet Dry World next week. We'll do The Last Piss Time. Um, and what other ones did I have saved here just in case? We did have a Billy Boy map. Is as long as Sub Machine? Maybe longer. Sub Machine wasn't so bad. I, I just got stuck on a couple secrets, really. And it was just because I didn't know I could kick a door. Um... The... I did, we did have this. I don't know when we downloaded this. We did, we did download Bedroom from Billy Boy if we wanted another Billy Boy map as well. Um, but I don't know what, why I downloaded this. Maybe it was this. So we did have Bedroom downloaded. And then we did have... We're just talking about space, too. And I feel like we were just... Did we do this one? Or did we not do this one? This is nothing to do with space, but I just remember. Because high treason's here. I feel like we were taught... I feel like we brought one up for this as well. Maybe it's because of the... Was it the train? What Did one of these do the train thing? Long level, warrants its own stream. Okay. I figure if that, uh... Are these all big series? Alien Update DE, yeah. So Alien Update DE was the one, the... Uh, School Tour probably isn't a good one for a stream. It's all voice lines. And like, maybe that's what I, I was reading on that. I think I read that one, um the other day on my own and I was like maybe I, I played I should just play it first um but are these kind of related do you kind of have like they kind of lead into each other let me we'll do something a little, a little different I was thinking of a di different school one though when I was looking at that and I was trying to remember why I was thinking did I download Alien Duck D? 
Okay, so they kind of they kind of tie into each other. Okay, so we'll save some of these to to tie in. Take out Jay Jusmith. JW Spiss. JM. Cool. New series. Oh, that looks cool. By cool, I mean just so different. I feel like we haven't done any, like, not much desert stuff. This is kind of like it's three of them. Cool. I'd probably save these for one stream on its own since they're all three of them are related. Are they from 2014, 2018? That would be pretty cool. Um, wonderful Christmas time. Right? That does look cool. Because, like, even though we have, um, um, uh, what do you call it? What am I thinking of? The, the fault. The abyss. Right? Like, I feel like you don't get a lot of desert style stuff. You have the world tour one. Um, I like that, that cool looking ship. Or not this, but the ship in the second one looks cool too. Um, but yeah, that's, that'd be interesting too so maybe that's something we'll save but yeah next week we'll do a variety so we'll do wet dry world for sure uh the last pissed one just so we can get that one out of the way and then depending on time um there, there was one i had picked out from like a couple months ago just because i liked the look of it but i, I think it was a part of a series so maybe and if that ends up being the case i'll save that for something else um i have it downloaded here so let me just see where I put it. Why did I download this one? What is this? What is this? When did we download this? Oh, because winter. For, uh, it's winter. Okay, that was my winter. So that wasn't it. No, it was, a, it was a space one. It was a space one. I forgot. Oh, that's no. That, this was what it was. This is what it was. It was aquatic. Hive, I think. Yeah, it's Aquatic Hive. That's what it was. It was a Devastator map, though. Also remember to check out his Demolition Man. I, I, I read Man because there's a hard icon covering it. Yeah, it was Aquatic Hive. Yeah, so it was that. But you're right. That, th this does look cool, too. Ma mainly because it's got a bunch of explosions. Let's be honest. That looks cool. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, you know, that's the tentative list. It's suborder. We'll do... Um, the Last Pissed, Wet Dry World, and depending on time, Aquatic Hive, probably. So we get a little bit of everybody in there. And then we'll figure out the following week. Let's not get too hard ahead of ourselves. And what I'll do too is like, uh, I think we had a good idea today about building on that little uh, apartment. Um, Especially now, if maybe we do that, if maybe a solid 30, 40 minutes in the beginning, nothing too, too long, um, because then I can, I can always do that for like a whole mapping stream for something separate. But just to just to show off Mapster a little bit, 
before we kind of bring it into the, the levels themselves. So we'll carry that same little apartment forward and I'll figure out maybe what I'd want to do in 30 minutes on it. And we'll just kind of keep building it up and go from there on that. And yeah, that's what we'll do next week, folks. Uh, so I, I do appreciate everybody coming around, hanging out. Uh, those were some pretty cool maps too. So I'm kind of glad we got those. And that also means that we have a bunch of segue maps for when the brothers kind of team up work together. I know there's like uh, another base attack or something. So there, there's a there's a whole roster of stuff, as you can just see from this list on MSDN, which is nowhere near every map that we've made because there's even a whole other section for this. And then there's always ones just listed on, like for example, none of toilet stuck. I don't think Toilet Duck's stuff is here. Actually, there's one. So maybe your stuff is on here now. I feel like I, I tried to look at it up once and it wasn't here. Oh, this one is. This one is. It's the only one. But there's some stuff on the forums and everything else. Um, so thank you all for joining me. I hope you have yourselves a, a pleasant, pleasant weekend. Don't forget to uh, drop a like if you can, if you haven't already. Pretty much ever, I think everybody has. And uh, I'll see you all next week. Have yourselves a, a lovely, lovely, lovely evening. <laughs>